Hello everyone and welcome back to FFG Live. It's our third FFG Live of the week. Yes. It was it was a triple header this week. <laughs> uh, and today we are doing something pretty special. So we have here uh, Descent Journeys in the Dark. My name is Evan Johnson, joined by Derek Chuck and Jim Cartwright. And Jim, you have uh, you played a role in Descent, right? What 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 is what is this True. thing that you have crafted that we're going <laughs> to be going to be playing with today? Uh, sure. Uh, it's actually two parts. The campaign that we're going to be playing is going to be the Embers of Dread. Yeah. Um, but I think what some people might be here to take a look at is uh, the new uh, print on demand expansion Lost Legends. Yes. Lost Legends. Yes. Uh, so we have Lost Legends, and it's a Road to Legend yeah. campaign, Embers of Dread. Yes, correct? that's correct. Okay, awesome, awesome. So we'll get into that in a second. We're gonna play the first scenario of Embers of Dread. So I guess if you are spoiler averse uh, for your campaign, we will be playing through that. Uh, we're also gonna show off some of these cards from uh, Lost Legends. So we have here, our hero. So, so what are what are you playing, Jim? Uh, so I'm going to be playing Trenlo the Strong, uh, yes. but I've gone ahead and chosen the Raider class, mm. uh, the multi class, which allows the hybrid, which allows me to uh, choose a scout class uh, deck instead of his normal warrior deck. Nice. Uh, and so this is going to allow me. This is we're going to be able to see Trenlo do things that he is has normally not been able to do. Uh huh. Uh huh. So which uh, which scout class? I went with a bounty hunter class. Nice. So normally Trenlo's up there in the fray of things. I want to see what he look like with a little bit of ranged and some of that extra damage on that. Yeah, so. I can see you got like a crossbow over yes. there, a double crossbow. That yep. seems pretty sweet. So I have yet to to choose my hero. Uh, I so I'm playing the mage class. So I could go with lyric of the book if I want this to be like real easy. Uh, or <laughs> <laughs> or we got a high mage quell in here. But no matter which one we play, I'm going to be playing with the brand new elementalist class for mages. So I'll show off a couple of these cards real quick here um, so we've got our weapon there that we're starting with it's the spire of conflux so as you can see a pretty standard kind of starting ranged weapon blue and yellow surge for plus one and surge uh, can you can you read that I can't quite read absolutely it so surge if two or more of your element cards are exhausted plus two damage what are these element cards uh, well, let's we'll, find out we'll find out in a moment so kind of then the main uh, uh, skill card of this. We've got Elemental Focus. So uh, that basically lets me pick two of these elemental cards that mm -hmm. I have, and I just start with those in play, and they kind of count as part of my starting cards. That's okay. correct. So, all right. So I got that. Now I got these four elemental cards, right? And each of these becomes sort of more powerful as I, as I use them. So for instance, we could go fire. I got a blaze card that's just gonna add some pierce to my, uh, to my attacks. We've got a, uh, let's see, what does, what does this one do? Uh, oh, okay, so I could grasp with earth. That lets me stun uh, a non-lieutenant monster. I could use a gust of air to move somebody, or I could do a tide and perform an attack, I believe. Is that correct? Or, uh, or, or deal, just deal damage? It just deals, just deals just damage straight to up enemies deals adjacent. Damage. Yep. And so those, they exhaust to use, and they become more powerful the more of them I use. And then finally, I've got this rune shard cache is my last kind of item here. And so that I can exhaust when I kill an enemy with a magic weapon, and it counts as an exhaust elemental card. So it makes those cards more powerful. That's correct. Uh, so I will think about which ones I choose. Uh, Derek, why don't you introduce uh, your guy? Who, sure. Who are you playing? So first off, I just want to thank both of you oh. for being the backup roles. Of course. <laughs> to my star. Uh, right, the healer is always the star. <laughs> always the star. <laughs> always the star. Yeah, so uh, I'm choosing between Abrick Albright here and uh, Brother Garen. Mm -hmm. um, and I will be using the bland, brand new Soul Reaper class. So if you saw the mm -hmm. announcement article on our website for Lost Legends, you may have seen some of these cards. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But the essence, if you will, mm -hmm. of the Soul Reaper comes from these two cards here. Uh, the first thing we have is Essence Harvest. So essentially, whenever I defeat a monster, I can place a damage on Essence Harvest. And that is known, that becomes an Essence token, yes? Correct. Sweet, so what does an Essence token do? Well, with Stream of Life here, I can exhaust this card during my turn and discard up to four Essence to have a hero within three spaces heal 
that amount of hearts. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's kind of an up, uh, the more damage I'm doing, the better I can heal. Kind of dichotomy there for a healer. So you're stealing people's life force. Uh, borrowing, maybe. It's for a good cause. <laughs> you seem like a bad person. I don't know. <laughs> it's like a transfer, right? You're, it's like you're a transfer, taking it from yeah. the enemies, and yeah. you're, you're transferring it to doing good. If anything, That's... I'm neutral. Nothing is gained, nothing is lost. Oh, so, fair, uh, fair. <laughs> um, yeah, so I use my very good Harvester Scythe here uh -huh. uh, as my weapon. I roll a blue and yellow die with it. Mm -hmm. uh, after I defeat a monster with it, I can recover one heart. Uh, mm -hmm. which seems very good, and yeah. Surge, I have Pierce 1. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. my final little tool here, my little trinket, is uh, the Mirror of Souls. Each time mm -hmm. I discard a condition, I can place one damage token on Essence Harvest, which of course then becomes an Essence. Yes, yeah. yes. All right then. Uh, I don't like things to be too easy, so I think <laughs> I'm gonna play High Mage Quellen here. He's, he's gonna be my boy. Um, so at the start of my turn, I can choose another hero within three spaces of me. If you have at least one fatigue token on your sheet, I recover a fatigue. If you are all fatigued out, if you you know equal to your stamina, I recover two fatigue. Uh, and then as my heroic feat, I can increase my stamina by four, so I can do a lot of things, and at the end of the round, I get recover all of my fatigue. Awesome. So I'm all about helping myself when you guys do lots of work. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That tracks. Uh... <laughs> I like spiky things and I like shields. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm gonna pick Avric Albright here. Yeah. Good choice. Yeah. yeah. So Avric, uh, his hero ability is each hero within three spaces of me, including myself, uh, gains surge, recover one heart on all attack rolls. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. Heal awesome. there. And my heroic feat is I can roll two red power die. Each hero within three spaces of me, myself, in myself included, can recover hearts equal to the number of hearts rolled. Uh, and I didn't mention it earlier, but uh, I am. I did mention I was playing Trendle the Strong. But uh, so his abilities: you have his. Uh, each of my attacks gain plus one damage, and each time I am affected by an attack, I add one block to my defense results. Uh, so he's always just doing a little bit extra mm -hmm. to carry along the party as needed. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the heroic feat is use when you perform an attack before dice are rolled. Choose and remove one defense die from the defense pool of your target. So we just go ahead and ignore one of those. Nice. Uh, I think for my elements, I'm going to pick Tide because I like doing damage to things. I like killing monsters. That seems fun. Also, it works well with my Rune Shard cache. Uh, and then I think that I'm going to take Grasp as well and hopefully stun some people. So I've got some, some water and some earth powers here, and I'm ready to go on an adventure. Awesome. I think we're all ready Perfect. to go on I think an we're adventure. All, ready. all right, let's yeah. do it. Let's, uh, let's start up some Road to Legend awesome. here. I've never actually used Road to Legend. I'm excited Say about what? this. Oh, nice. oh, this is, Road to Legend is great. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're playing so Embers true. of Dread. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to play on hard. No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play on normal. This will be a very short cast. Yes, <laughs> as we all die. OK, so we got Avric. Uh, I am playing High Mage Quellen. You are playing Tremlo the Strong. Boom. All right, Avric. You are what class did we say? Soul Reaper? Soul Reaper. Soul Reaper. All right. High Mage Quan is an elementalist. You are a raider. Yes, and then I am the bounty hunter. Yes. Class. Scout class. Yes. Okay. I see thief, treasure hunter, and wildlander. Oh, because we didn't we didn't add in manner of ravens. Correct. Oh, yep, yep. Yep. Okay. Here, one moment. Okay, we'll confirm that. We gotta go back. So while you're doing that, Evan, so Lost Legends, yes. this kind of completes a cycle of hybrid classes, right? Yes. Sure. We started it in Chains at Rust, mm -hmm. uh, where we introduced them for uh, one of each of the class combinations. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a uh, continuation of that that basically rounds out the rest of the hybrids. Um, I did some quick napkin math. I'm uh -huh. pretty sure it's good. Uh, <laughs> but prior to Lost Legends, there were 864 combinations of characters and classes when you included the hybrids. Mm -hmm. uh, this actually adds an additional 864 options because we've added the two more classes plus the sure. eight hybrids. So oh my uh, we've essentially doubled the amount of combinations that you can have in the game now wow. um, through this. So Cool. All right, we're back to it. Uh, what is our group name? Oh. We are... Um, Sunday outing brunch, Sunday brunch outing, I don't know. Yeah, like, uh, yeah I've uh, always been partial when adventuring <laughs> with people to really play up the friendship aspect. I, I think we're the world's best pals. World's, oh, world's best pals. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. I like it. I'm, yeah. I'm going to put brunch in there because I'm okay, hungry sure. right now. <laughs> world's best pals. Brunch. brunch. Pals. <laughs> okay, yeah. World's best brunch pals. 
begin. I hope that means we're getting brunch after this, right? Yeah. That's what that <laughs> yes. Cool. All right, all right. I, got, I have some text to read here. Two days ago, the rune-carved obelisks in the Ashen Hills flared to life with mystical energy. Dame Corinne Var, Castellan of Fort Roderick, immediately dispatched her best soldiers to investigate the bizarre occurrence, as you do. The group was commanded by Knight Lieutenant Eveline and advised by the scholar Kristoff, a priest of Pelos. Fortunately, Baroness Pryor of Pelgate had recently bolstered the garrison by hiring a group of adventurers, hey, that's us, uh, <laughs> from the nearby free city of Riverwatch. World's best brunch pals. Here yeah. to crack goblin skulls. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> as well as we crack eggs for Right, like yeah, for, like, brunch. like yeah, for, for brunch. brunch. Yeah, for brunch. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what I say when I'm <laughs> killing monsters. It's time to make some brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Quick footfalls and the glint of cold steel in the moonlight were the only warnings you received. Your party had stopped to investigate one of the many obelisks that dot the Ashen Hills when the ambush was sprung. So focused were you on the amber glowing rune etched into the obsidian men here that the enemy was upon you before anyone realized it. Dame Evelyn, the lieutenant to whom you were assigned at Fort Roderick, was the first to raise the alarm. Robed figures pour from the shadows and your scouting party rises to meet them. Kristoff, the young priest of Kelos, races to meet the nearest attacker as Dame Evelyn rushes to defend him. Set aside tiles, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, you've already got them all. I've already done that for you. Yeah. <laughs> Our hero. Take it care of. All right. Uh, we need a green, a red, and a white objective token. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Perfect. Those, I, of course, did not pull out. <laughs> all right. Here is, here is our set. Oh, almost lost the iPad. <laughs> all right. So this is kind of our setup that we're going to build here. Let's uh, clear a little bit of space. While uh, while we're setting this up, yeah. are there any questions in the chat? People have any questions about Lost Legends, Embers of Dread, Descent in general? Um, let me take a look here. Now's the time. So, someone says, "Is this Descent one or two, and what is the program?" Do you want to talk a little bit about what what this is? What are we What are we using here? What are we using? Like Road to Legend. And, and oh what, yeah, what it sure. brings to the game. So traditionally, with Descent, if you just buy Descent Journeys in the Dark. Uh, you are split. Your player, the players are kind of split. Some mm -hmm. players are heroes, adventurers. Mm -hmm. uh, the Such other player just... is what we call the Overlord. Yes. Um, and so essentially, the heroes, adventurers are fighting against the Overlord. The Overlord controls all these wonderful monsters you see out there, and the heroes are attempting to fight against them, complete some objective. Mm -hmm. Now, what Road to Legend does is it eliminates the need for a player Overlord, so everyone can work together. And all the monsters, all the enemies, your objectives, the mm -hmm. story, is all tracked here in this app, Road to Legend. Um, it's Like I said, this is my first time actually mm -hmm. playing it, but already this is a very nice experience to just be hanging out with my pals, not having to worry about someone fighting us, and having this app yeah. tell us how to set it up, what tiles to set aside. Got a couple more. Got to... Additionally, you know, through the campaigns, oh, there'll be nice. small narrative elements that pop up and stuff. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really cool. Um, yeah, and you're about to see this in practice because uh, we're about to start playing. As you can see, no one is playing against us except yeah. this app. Uh, place the heroes on the entrance. All right, here I am. Uh, so we've got our entrance tile here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I will not be leading the way. I'll stand uh, back here. I'll be leading the yeah, way. Yeah, that's right. You will. Yeah, yeah there we go. That's that's right. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Protect the squishy mage in the back. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm squishy. <laughs> Ahead, Dame Evelyn and Kristoff have been separated by their attackers, each fending off their own groups of robed figures. Those two villager tokens, as indicated, these are Dame Evelyn and Kristoff. Let's get some of our village buddies. All right, Evelyn's over there. Kristoff is over here. Yep, okay, cool. perfect. Up, in the hi up the hill in front of you, another strange obsidian obelisk protrudes at an odd angle from the ground. An amber glow surrounds it, and magical energy radiates off the stone. So that's what that white objective token is. The nearby skirmish has disturbed the resting place of soldiers long lost to time as you approach several of the dead lumber towards you. Place the zombie group in the indicated spaces. So we got uh, a master right next to Evelyn. Yep, all right, you got it. Man, you're so good at this. <laughs> it's like yeah. I have some experience <laughs> doing this before. Several <laughs> of the rogue figures have taken advantage of the distraction of battle in order to study the obsidian stone. Their silhouettes loom in the stone's amber glow. Place the flesh molder group as indicated. All right, so you'll note in the first uh, 
Uh, Derek, you may not be familiar. So uh, in the first one, we had specific placements for enemies. Mm -hmm. This is showing a group dropping in this location. Okay. Uh, and so then on the back, we know how many heroes we're playing. So since mm -hmm. we are playing with three heroes, mm -hmm. we will be placing two regulars and one master. The gotcha. master always gets placed on the space. Okay. And then we choose adjacent spaces to the master to place the oh, additional cool. monsters. So, okay. Sounds um, good. I'm thinking this way looks real. They feel like they're walking yeah. that way in formation. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Flesh molders are creepy, man. Yeah, they are. They're 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 messed up. Uh, place two search tokens as shown. So let's see. One goes in that corner, and one goes. Oh, that's there actually. And here. Yep. Yes. All right, set up complete. Objective, rescue Evelyn and Kristoff. Okay, easy enough. All right. Just a couple of zombies and yeah. some, Let's do some, some flesh things. molders in the way. Yeah, finish up in time for brunch. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Someone is asking what uh, Road to Legend is available on. It is on pretty much anywhere you can get apps. It's uh, the App Store, uh, Google Play, Amazon, Steam, all those places it is available on. Uh, yeah, let, let's hit some things all right. with our weapons. Sounds you guys good. are in front, so one of you gets to go yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that sounds fair. You want me to? Uh, no, I want you lead the charge. All right. Tremlo is yeah. used to that, yeah. so he's gonna uh, he's gonna step up. So oh, I get my so, speed. You're so slow, though. I am very slow. <laughs> uh, the good news is, is that uh, I am using a ranged weapon. So that's, that's one of the benefits of switching to the raider here is that okay. I actually get to use my stuff ranged. Mm. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and. Um, Let's one, two, three, mm -hmm. uh, and we have this uh, this poor zombie. Here. Well, I mean, it's it, it's it's uh, this poor zombie here is gonna feel Trenlo's wrath. So yeah. let's um, let's go ahead is. and uh, so I'm gonna use my blue, my red. Yep. Let's get a little bit of room here for me to roll. Yep. Um, we need a brown defense die for that zombie. Yes, uh, that's that. Thank you. Yep. Roll that. Right. Okay, that not, was, that's not enough range. Great, it definitely is the range. Mm -hmm. um, exactly what I needed. Uh, it is blocking this. Trenlo's adding the one. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing two damage, but it's just alive. So oh, no. uh, we'll go ahead oh, and man. take I mean, its two. And uh, Avric, you might need to uh, you might need to finish that off. Oh or... boy. Okay. I mean, I imagine it's hard to take down a zombie with a crossbow. That's yeah. true, yeah, right? Yeah, it just starts going through. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I can uh, I can hop up I can hop up four without fatigue. So mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Just fatigue mm -hmm. out right just, away. You think? That's, right. That's, the best. that's always the best option. Yeah. Uh, well, it'll just be too fatigued to get next to him. Yeah. Sure. You that's could also, cool. if you wanted to, uh, take that. You can always move in the diagonal as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it'd still be two regardless, I think. Mm. So I'm gonna go one, two more. Sure. Okay. Uh, so I need two fatigue for that. Yes. And I'm gonna get some essence here. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah. Uh, I roll a blue and a yellow for me, and a brown for him. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Crunch that zombie. Yeah. Boom. Oh, no oh, defense for no him. Defense. Oh, he's, he's, just, he's, he just takes that. He just takes, takes three. Dead. All right. So that is one dead zombie. That is one dead zombie and. Yep, surge. And. Uh, when a monster is defeated, mm -hmm. uh, place one damage token on this card. Okay. So that is my first essence right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, okay. You also uh, have yeah, a surge, surge. roll. Mm -hmm. uh, since you don't need to trigger any of your surge abilities now, mm -hmm. uh, you could just spend it to get back one of the fatigue that you just uh, spent. Yeah. Sounds good to me. It seems like a good choice. All right. So that was a move and an attack. Oh, we haven't. Yep. We've not we been need, ending our turns. We have not been ending no. our turns. Okay. Yep. We sure do know how to play this yes. game. Yes. All right. So first, <laughs> so first, Just so excited. Yep. So let's okay. end Trenlo. Yep. And yep. so the zombies are going to go. So we're going to retroactively say this zombie sure. still is here. Sure. Sure. Uh, it gets plus two speed. Uh, it gets plus one for attacking. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to engage the closest hero, which at the time would have yeah. been me. Well, uh, you want to walk back that yeah. time. Yeah, we'll walk that back. We'll, we'll walk it back. All right. Uh, That's fair. All right. So. Um, this is going to start with the minion zombies, mm -hmm. so they are both going to go. So it's going to be uh, one, two. Oh no! Uh, well, that's okay. Trenlo is uh, Trenlo is mighty. Trenlo is mighty. So right. uh, to attack, the zombies are rolling uh, the blue and yellow yep. for defense. I am rolling a gray. Yes. So let's see, and I get the plus one from Trenlo's ability. Oh, okay. okay. I oh, should, that's a yeah, lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, it's fine. This is fine. Trenlo's fine. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm only blocking one of the four, uh, and then for its surge, uh, it's not. Uh, it. Let's take a look at the 
uh, priorities for mm -hmm. Uh, so the zombie will try to disease first, uh, mm -hmm. as long as it's doing damage, so that's what I'm going to take instead. So I will, in addition to getting uh, the three damage through on Trenlo, mm -hmm. I will also become disease. Oh, oh no. boy, what a start. This is fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so diseased right now. It's okay. I can help you. Can you? That, that sounded kind of... Uh... Yeah, there was like a question there at the end. So uh, let's see if that... Uh, is true, uh, but before that, mm -hmm. uh, the other zombie gets to go again. Yep. Mm -hmm. So here we go. One, two. Oh boy. Uh, he's also going to. Let's, mm -hmm. let's not roll that same. Yeah, this time you'll block again. it all. This will be much better. Boom. Uh, I do block Look four. At that. There it is. Uh, Clang. He will use the surge though for the extra damage, so yep. I will take one. All right. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then that's all the minions. Yep. Yeah. The master is going to do the same. Uh, so again, only moving at a small speed. One, two, three. Can't quite get there. Oh, uh, he has plus two speed though. Oh, that's right. It is the yep. extra. Uh, still can't still get can't there get though. There. So he will uh, he will hold out and uh, wait for the next time. Boom. All right. Now, yes. One of us can do a thing. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um. So that zombie. This zombie's full health. Yes. Okay. This is the zombie. The first one that came up and attacked yes. me is the one that I hit for two. Right. Okay. Hmm, I could probably kill him in one hit. For sure. Yeah, for sure. I for believe sure. in you. Yeah, okay. I am going to do that. I'm going to walk up here with mm -hmm. no fatigue this mm -hmm. time. And I am going to roll my blue and yellow dice using my scythe and one brown defense die for him. Huh. Okay, uh, got some surges uh, there. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. All right. Uh, so I do have pierce one. For Surge, does that help at all? Yeah, uh, yeah that basically, yeah, basically means eliminates. you ignore That's one of his blocks. That's so enough to kill it. That's, That's enough, enough to kill with an, yeah, okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. And you still have an additional Surge, yeah. although no, uh, no fatigue with which to recover. Essence but harvest? you did is still it? kill something, so the damage, yeah, yeah, you still get your Essence. Harvest yeah. the Essence. Cool. Um, cool, cool, cool. Yep, I'm good. Okay, my turn. Oh, well, first. Yeah, and my turn. Yes. Yes. Flash molders. Each attack gains plus three range. If the total range exceeds the range of the target, that attack also gains Pierce one. Master Flesh Molder wants to attack the hero within six spaces of the, this monster. There aren't any. That's not happening. If within two spaces of a hero, that's nope. not happening. Spot the closest hero. All right. So we're going to try to get one, two, three, four is the maximum. Yep. Um... Um, so and then he would attack the closest hero, but so that's not happening. He, uh, he can attack me. It's the closest. Oh, he can. But yeah, it, yeah, okay. it's just yeah, a matter yeah. of whether or not he's going to end up with range. He does have plus three range, I guess. Oh, so, so. yep. So there could be a chance here. It's okay. fine. Trend low strong. Uh, you got that gray defense die, though. <laughs> yeah, let's, that's, yeah, get rid of yeah. that. Yeah, that gray one is, is better. Okay. Uh, well, this is the one that was pulled here. So he's got eight range. Uh, so he definitely, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, yep, yep, is within my range. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's the two damage, which I am blocking, but then the surge, what are their surge options yep. up here? Uh, so first gonna try to heal themselves. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna need to do that. So then just one extra damage, which mm -hmm. I will take. And he does, because his total range exceeds the range to you, he gets Pierce 1. Pierce 1, so yep. 1 extra damage on yeah, top fine. of that. You're strong, this is dude. fine. Yeah. Trenlo is the strong. <laughs> so, the, so strong. So, uh, I have a question regarding my Essence Harvest. Yes. You're the person to ask. This is perfect yeah. to play with you. Yeah. Uh, it says when any monster is defeated. Not just any monster, I defeat. Correct. Okay, awesome. Yep. Yeah, all right. The uh, bonus comes from when you defeat something. Um, take a look at your Harvester Scythe. Uh, yes, I recover. One. I'm sorry, your mirror? Each time you discard one of your conditions. All right, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, I know yeah. what I'm thinking. Yes, okay. yes, 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 that's, yes. Uh, minions, so they want to attack the hero within six spaces. That is not a thing. They're not within two spaces. So they're going to spot the closest hero. <laughs> Look, they're all coming one, after you. two, three, and four. Yep. Uh, so okay. I'm within their range. Uh, well, I'm within line of sight, so. Yep. Uh, and then he's going to attack. All right. Oh, and then retreat. Oh, oh he misses. Oh, right. oh, I feel so bad for him. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, and he moved four to get into that. Or he moved his, yeah, he moved his full amount so he yep. don't have any ability to retreat. So then the next one is also going to do the same, basically. Two, three, four. Yep. And then he will attack. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, that's, that's All right. range. So... 
Uh, I don't have uh, I, don't, I have the one block from Trunlo's ability, mm -hmm. uh, so it's just two surges. Mm -hmm. He can only spend one of them on extra damage, and he's not damaged, so won't heal himself. Yep. So it'll just be one damage. Uh, but exceeded there. Oh, yep. Exceeded. So yeah, that. Uh, no, that doesn't. we need to heal you. Yeah, yeah, I might need some Soul Reaper love over here. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So keep in mind when you're in three spaces of me, you can also spend a surge to heal. Heart heal as well. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Let's uh, let's do some stuff. Um, I'm gonna move one, two, three up to there, so I still have one movement point left. Uh, I'm gonna attack that wounded zombie right there. Um, Perfect. Let's uh, yeah. All right. So I get blue and yellow, and I need a brown die. All right. Let's see. I just need a single damage. That should be easy. All right, yep, got the, oh, yeah. got the range, got plenty of that. All right, that's a dead zombie right there. All right, I'll take that essence. Yes. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to exhaust this rune shard cash, so that counts, because uh, I defeated an enemy with a magic weapon. Yep. Um, after I perform an attack, let's uh, exhaust tide. Uh, so I'm going to choose a monster adjacent to the target space. Yep. It suffers. Perfect. Uh, Two damage. So that master zombie will take two damage now. Perfect. All right. Okay. Uh, and I have one movement point left. Uh, I'll just I'll just slide back a little bit. Cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang hang back here. This oh, is wise. Um, I could also grasp. Choose a non-lieutenant monster within three spaces. I mean, I guess I'd have to do that before I move back. Before you move back. Yeah. Um, That's a wonderful thing about cooperative games, though, is we can, you know. Yes. <laughs> kind I, of decide. Wait a second. Yes, I will. I will use a stamina and stun that master zombie as well. Perfect. That yes. is, that is my turn. Cool. And then I'll slide back a space. Whoop. All right. Yeah. If you want to go before me. Oh, oh, oh rage. Right, right. So right. any my turn. New round. All right. Nothing special happens. All right. We get to do a thing now. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, do you want to go first and maybe heal Trenlo? Well, here's the thing: go? is if we can knock off that guy, if you mm -hmm. want to attack first. Well, I guess then monsters are gonna go. Mm -hmm. I could just heal you more. <laughs> true, true. Uh, but uh, if you would like to heal right now, I can totally go first. I also have a disease that I'm gonna have to take care of. Okay. Um, though that's that's okay. I can I can uh, I maybe healing me first sure. would be good. Okay. <laughs> just to be safe. Uh, then that I can do. Um, so I am going to exhaust my essence or my stream of life, mm -hmm. which takes a fatigue, mm -hmm. and I'm going to remove two of these hearts to remove two of your hearts. Perfect. Oh, there you right. go. That helps. Yeah. Nice. And you nice. call me a Feel monster. Feel much better. Whew. I'm just saying. See, I don't used know where for that, good. I don't know where that stuff came from, right? It uh, seems seems iffy. Okay. <laughs> Someone's asking about the new classes. So that we're playing with the new classes from Lost Legends. I've got Elementalist. And I have the Soul Reaper, which that's, you just saw in action. That's right. And I'm playing with one of the hybrid classes, the Raider, which allows me to take a warrior class hero uh, and choose a scout class uh, deck. Yeah. Yes. And I know you're not seeing like some of the experience points cards for these new classes. We're going to show off a couple at the end of this. Yes, we will so show stick around. some of those after, <laughs> yeah. after this adventure. Okay, so I just healed you. That is not an action, correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. All right, so I have two actions. Mm -hmm. I'm, looking, I'm looking to kill. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Clobber that zombie. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, hide in this corner here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack that zombie All with right. my harvester scythe. All right. Uh, nice. So that is a blue and a yellow. Harvest that zombie. What does he roll for defense? Zombies still roll the just, uh, uh, just, just brown. the brown. Yep. yep. All right. Even, even on the master level. All right. Okay. So oh, that nice. Right. So that is three. Mm-hmm. Uh, da, 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 and then. No surge. No yep. surge. Yep. He's going up to five damage. Cool. He's still stunned. Cool. Yep. Um, and then, yes, that is my turn. All right. Uh, so that was Abric. Mm -hmm. Zombies. Zombies are going to engage the closest hero. There are no minions. So After we'll... each activation, zombie performs grab on uh, hero. Yes. Uh, and grab will be on the back of their card. So yes. uh, choose a hero adjacent to this monster. The hero must test might. If he fails, he's immobilized. Oh, they're going to try and grab on they're you. They're going to try to stop you from yeah. moving. OK. Uh, engage the closest hero who is not immobilized. Already done. All right, attack a hero. All right, they're attacking you. Okay. And that's the only action because it's stunned, right? Correct. Yep. It, yeah. Yep. It's All the only right. action it gets. So yep. what are they rolling? 
Uh, blue and yellow, I believe. Uh, for the master zombie, you are yes. still rolling a blue and a yellow. Blue and a yellow, and then my own defense die. Mm -hmm. It's gray. Yep. All right, get this brown one out of here. Watch this. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's look at pretty that. good. Look at that. It's uh, so it will first try to use uh, the plus X. So even the master zombie is still a plus one. Okay. Uh, so mm -hmm. he'll use that first. Uh, okay. Because mm -hmm. it can't disease you because it's not doing any damage. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, it adds the one, so now it's doing two, but you're blocking yep. both. So yep. you can't be diseased either. So oh, cool. yeah, nice. Well, fine. Yeah. But now it's going to grab you. Okay, that's fine. So you're so going to test, test my might. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a black and a gray. Yep. Okay. Okay. And you are going to try to roll equal to or less than the uh, fist symbol yep. on your character sheet. Equal to or less than. Equal to or less than. Two. Okay. It's fine. Uh, uh, <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> All right. So you have become immobilized. Hooray. That's fair. <laughs> Cannot perform move actions or suffer fatigue to gain movement points. Maybe I should have been Lyric. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, this is a condition, right? It is a condition. So when I discard it, I get an essence. That is so, true. All right. Let's see. Maybe I can. Uh, maybe I can take out one of these flesh molders. What's the What's the health on those minions there? Uh, the minions have a four health. Okay. They are rolling a gray for defense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four. Uh, I'll, be, I'll stay <laughs> here. I think that's fine. Um, okay. So I'm going to. Oh, start of my turn. I get to heal a fatigue because you have a fatigue, and I was close to you. Uh, let's see here. All right, so blue and yellow against a gray. I will shoot at this one. So with my tide, I can hit a monster adjacent to the target space. Is it adjacent to itself? Can I hit it again? No, you can only hit, uh, yeah, uh, they're not adjacent to each other. Got it, got or it. to okay, themselves. Okay, okay. Actually, if I scoot in one more space, then I can stun them. I'm gonna do that. All right, we're gonna do that. Uh, so first things first, Let's uh, take a fatigue and stun the one I'm not attacking. All right. Yep. All right. And then you're attacking this one? Yes, I'm attacking that one. Attack! All right. All right. That is, that is damage. Um, so I've got two, and I'll surge for plus one. All right. So it will take two. Okay. Two damage there. Uh, did not defeat a monster, unfortunately. Let's uh, let's use Tide and throw two more damage on this one. Absolutely. Yep. Boom. So you can already see the elementalist using those yes. just combos to uh, to. The to powers of the elements <laughs> are mine. <laughs> and if you were here at the start of the stream, he chose two of the four elements. Correct. I chose I chose uh, water and earth, the yes. Tide and grasp. Okay. That's, All right. That's my turn. That is. That's what I'm doing. Boom. Flesh molders, each attack performed by a flesh minion gains pierce two. Oh, oh boy. All right, minion, uh, spot as many heroes as possible. Uh, so, so they want to move up. They right? want to be within three spaces of as many heroes as possible. Okay. So these are the minions? Yep, the minions. Uh, all right, so uh, one, two, three. That should do it because that's three to me, three to everybody. Yep. Okay. okay. And then that's his only that's action. That's his only action because he's stunned. stunned. Nice. <laughs> All right, so the next one is also going to do the same thing. All right, so we'll go one, two, can't stop there, so he'll go here. Mm -hmm. uh, attack the hero within three spaces of this monster with the most health remaining. I have six remaining. I have ten remaining. I have twelve remaining. All right. Hey. All right. All right, so he's going to attack you. Cool. So they're rolling a... a yellow and a blue. Yep. Okay. And I roll my gray. And he has pierce two. Oh boy, that's tough. Hey, I hey. still have something. Oh, all right, nice. So is that two damage coming to me? Uh, and oh, then surge. Surges. Yeah. So he's first gonna surge to mend. Uh, so the mend on the minions is mend one. Yep. Uh, so he'll heal one from himself first with yep. his first surge. Second and surge plus uh, X. We'll be adding the one damage. So essentially it's four damage and you're blocking one because of the pierce two, so you'll take three. All right, fair okay. enough. Okay, that is all minions. Uh, Master Flesh Molder, spot the closest hero. Oh, that's me. Uh -oh. <laughs> so he wants to get within three spaces. Within three, yep. All right, so he's there. Attack the hero within three spaces with the lowest. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm the only one. So <laughs> blue and yellow against my gray. Pierce two. Oh, ha -ha, look at that. So he's got the range. Uh, I will take two damage. Nice. That. That's not terrible. That's yeah. not so bad. I could have been I'm way okay worse. With that. Yeah. Uh, and that was it. That was his thing. 
Perfect. Because he moved and he attacked. Yep. Boom. All right, Trenlo is diseased, so at the start of your turn, I'm going to test Will. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's grab this here. My Will is a four. Not so I'm fairly... Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I did not pass, therefore I failed and suffer one uh, fatigue, and I keep this card. So oh. this is fine. This is fine. All right. Uh, so Trenlo is going to... Uh, the nice thing is I have many targets now, so mm -hmm. I can just stand here and fire. This is great. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So I'm first going to use Chosen Target. Yeah. Uh, we're going to use Chosen, chosen target, target on uh, the one that is... Uh, no, let's go with the one that's been damaged uh, more. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, exhaust this card at the start of your turn uh, to track a monster in your line of sight. So I'm now tracking this monster. Yes. Each time you perform an attack that targets a tracked monster, that attack gains plus one damage, even while this card is exhausted. And I'm spending my fatigue to do that. Uh, right. So, let's start, first start by firing at that monster. Uh, so I have my uh, blue and yellow, or sorry, blue yeah. and red, yeah. and Even they better. are going to do the gray. So. Blue and red. Oh, oh boy! Oh. Just fabric, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was so mighty. <laughs> uh, so, good. it's three, plus I have one from Trenlo's ability, which is four. Plus I have the uh, plus one from being tracked is five. Mm -hmm. Plus a surge, uh, which can be pierce or range. I already have the range. I so don't need to pierce. So you're within three spaces of me. Yes. So you can recover a heart with that. Surge. Oh, that's even oh, nice. that's perfect. So I will nice. do that for sure. And, and that's, a, I, that's a dead flesh molder. And that is right? a dead flesh molder because yeah. that, that, that minions only have four health, so that is extra dead. Uh, then, I my second action is I'm going to. Um, I don't want to rest. I want to keep going. So let's uh, let's start moving toward. I'm going to start moving towards the objective. Okay. Yeah. Here. So we're going to go. Um, uh, let's go one, two, uh, three. I'm going to start heading towards Kristoff. Sure. Here. I can get over to this one. Perfect. Pretty awesome. easily. All uh, right. And so that's that me. Your turn. And turn. Boom. New round. Cool. So before we get too crazy here, yeah. and I'll go our own ways to all these objectives, mm -hmm. should I use my heroic feat to try and clear off a lot of this damage from us? Uh, I think we're probably a little early for the heroic feat okay. for now, okay. but um, I, def I like where your head's at. Yes. But Trenlo's feeling pretty good. I, at sure. one point, I was much more injured that's, than I was. I feel, that's a fair point. I feel great. You're still looking a little sickly. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> Let's see, does it, it cost an action to interact as an action? Adjacent hero can interact with this villager token. All right. So, okay, so I could move over there and, and save her right away. Um, that'd be pretty much my whole turn, though. If we're going to do that, we probably should wait till the end mm -hmm. just so that we can start getting damage on, uh, like, we can eliminate some of the, the enemy attacks. If we can kill this zombie, that takes out a whole monster whole activation. Group activation. That's true. I, That's uh, pretty good. Yeah. I can't move. So the only good I can really do oh, would be attacking that. Smacking that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So if you guys don't mind. Yeah. All right. Blue and yellow. Let's see some dead zombies. Hopefully. All right. Do action one. Uh, okay. 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 So that, that is, works. That's two dance. So that's yeah. is that, yep. that's you enough, right? Yeah. So you only need one. one so Boom. that is a dead zombie. Defeat group. Okay. Hey, and I still have another action I can do. There it is. Defeat zombies. Um, <laughs> They're dead. Hmm. I am going to heal using my stream of life. Two damage from who wants it? If you want it? <laughs> you I'll take it. it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm so fine. another fatigue. Nice. And that would be my turn. Is that an action to use that? It is not an action to use that. You're right. I don't know what I'm going to do. So you could rest. I yep. could rest. Just heal up that yeah. fatigue. Heal yep. up the fatigue. Yeah, that seems good. So I'm going to heal yeah. up my Since fatigue. Since you can't move. Yep. I'm going to get rid of this immobilize at the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. yep. And because I got rid of this, I get another essence Perfect. from my essence harvest. Oh, nice. nice. Thanks to my nice. mirror souls. So. It's good. Okay. That's me. For, right. the, for the people asking in chat, we will be sharing the upgraded cards from the Elementalist. And uh, have they already seen the Spirit? Well, They've we'll seen a couple Soul Reapers. We can we'll, show them. We'll show them. Yeah. We'll show some Soul Reaper cards. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll show some cool stuff. Uh, flesh Molders. 
Each attack gains plus one surge. For each surge a monster does not spend, it gains a movement point. All right. All right, so that minion wants to spot the closest hero. All right. There's two choices. Attack the closest hero, then retreat. All right, um, I can take, Trenlo can take this. You're gonna he take feel, it? Yeah, All he right. feels strong enough to take All this right. now. All right. Now that he feels much better. Uh, so, uh, we've got this, mm -hmm. and I've got my defense done. Yeah. All right, okay. All right. so. I'm looking at three... And it um, has two surges. It has two surges. It, so it's first going to try and mend. Uh, I will be able to do that. And then plus X damage. Uh, which is only the one, so it's going to yep. be four. I'm blocking two because mm -hmm. of my ability. Yep. So I will take two. We're back to five. That's all okay. Right. All right. That's all right. Uh, and then it retreats. Uh, so it did spend both of the surges, yep. right? so no extra movement So points. no extra movement points. Um, and then it will... Uh, so when it retreats, it wants to move away from the closest hero. Yep. So mm. we're going to send it this way. One, two, three, four. Okay. Kay. Fair enough. And then that's it, right? That's it okay. for them. All right. So the master, uh, spot the closest hero. Oh, he's got that. Attack the closest hero, then retreat. Uh, so I can I can take this again. You want to take it again? Yeah, yeah. I, I, Go for in, it. in the long run, I, I have more uh, I have more hit points and the extra block. So yeah, the extra block kind of tips yeah. it over. All right. Okay. So I'm blocking three. Uh, it doesn't have anything to mend it has for its surge. Two surges. Yep. So it's just plus da plus so X. Plus one damage. So I'll take one, mm -hmm. um, and then it will not spend its second surge, which gives it the extra movement point yep. when it retreats. So yep. one, two, three, four, and the extra. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Boop. What is it? What is this guy a thing that we can? Yeah, what do we have? It says here? the obelisk stands at the peak of the hill. The amber runes glowing in the night sky. You'll need to rescue your allies before you can study the obelisk. All right. All right. So, priorities. Priorities indeed. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, now that they've gone, do you want to go ahead and? Yeah, uh, I'll go. I'll go save Dame Aveline over here. One, two, three, four. Let's see. Dame Aveline fights off several rogue figures surrounding her from all sides. She is holding her own, but it's only a matter of time before she's overwhelmed. I am adjacent, so I'm going to interact. One of Aveline's attackers turns to face you, and the lieutenant takes ruthless advantage of the distraction you've provided. Soon, the rogue figures lie at her feet, and Aveline is wiping blood from her armor and face with one of their cloaks. Don't worry, she says. It's not mine. She points across the hill. We need to save Kristoff. He's the only one who can decipher these obelisks. She lifts her sword again and goes in search of the priest. Discard this villager token. All right. Okay, perfect. And that is my turn. Boop. All right. Uh, okay. So oh, I forgot it's... to uh, heal up. Oh, yeah. At the end it's... of my turn. Yep. Yeah, I, I have definitely have to keep going on. Start of my turn, yes. Uh, so we're at the start of my turn again. Let's try to get rid of this disease. Yeah. I am. No disease. Fairly willful, but you know, we saw that that. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> all right. Nope. I continue to be diseased. Uh, the good news is, is that with all my fatigue, you will now recover two every turn. So it's that, true. That's true. I have to be close to you. Yeah. Uh, but, but that's okay. Um, all right. So then I will. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get to Kristoff. Mm -hmm. um, I think maybe I am best spent. I don't have the fatigue to use my uh, to use my chosen target, but. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Do you think I should just start heading that direction and grab some treasure? Do you think I should uh, try to take out this flesh molder before it becomes a thorn in the, the side? Well, you, I guess you could shoot it. You'd have to do four damage, which is doable, potentially. I get the extra damage here, yep. so that's nice. I can pierce if I surge. Hmm. Um, no, I'm going to put... Yeah. You're going to press on? Go for it. All right, so we're going to do... Make your choice. One, two, three... Uh, we're gonna get here, and then let's uh, let's go ahead and interact with that right, search token. This one. What do we got here? Uh, the contents of the abandoned wagon lie in a pile off to the side of the road. You find three gold. Yeah. Discard this token and draw a search card. All right. So, have right. our search cards here. Yeah. Let's shuffle them up. Get something cool. Let's see what Try we got. Find something in this wagon. A health potion. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's, that's pretty useful. Yeah. So as an action, I can use this to uh, choose myself or an adjacent hero to recover all of the damage. Wow. Nice. So that'll be great. Yeah. Perfect for Trunlo. All right. Mm -hmm. That is Trunlo. So we're done here. Boom. Uh oh. The resting place thoroughly disturbed. The dead continue to rise. Place one zombie, as indicated. Uh, so. Oh boy. We got our master zombie back. Ah! They are slow though. They can't only move three spaces, yeah, and they are I'm only a, melee. I think I might just run away from him. 
It's probably a good okay. idea. Um, hmm. I guess I would probably want to go first then if I wanted to just run away. Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I could go like one, two, three, four, and attack the master. Or I could go one, two, three, four. Hmm. I'm not recovering fatigue at the start of my turn. I think I'll probably go, because you're going to be able to get there and save Kristoff. Sure. Um, I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Just and toe attack. to toe. Okay. Yep. I like it. Magic time. All right, so blue and yellow against that gray. See, yeah. All right, so I got the range. Uh, he's rolling two shields. I have one surge, so that's one damage. All right. And he's not within <clears throat> three spaces, so I cannot grasp him with the earth. Uh, that's it. All right. That's my turn. That's your turn. That's pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> Flesh Molder, uh, minion. Uh, each time a Flesh Molder recovers damage, each monster within three spaces that's not a Flesh Molder recovers equal damage. Ah, that's right. a good thing there's nobody around. So yep. spot the closest hero. Yep. Uh, so one, two. Yep, uh, attack the closest hero. All right. He's coming for you. Yeah, what's he rolling? Uh, blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Yeah. I believe in you, Avrik. Yeah, here we go. Just catch it on that shield. He's just going to miss. I don't even need the shield. He's like, he's like, he's like throwing call it or something. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of surges. All right. All right. So uh, first he's going to try and mend. Nothing, Nothing to mend. And okay. then plus damage. So just, just the plus one. Plus so just one. one more. Yep. All right. That's fine. Okay. That's all the minions. Master Flesh Molder, spot the monster with the most damage suffered. Oh, that's himself. Okay. Uh, use heal on a monster. All right, so the Flesh Molders have the choose a monster within three spaces of this monster mm -hmm. and roll one red power die. The chosen monster recovers damage equal to the hearts rolled. All right. So let's see. Total whiff. Got. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. So he heals himself. Heals himself up. He's going to attack the closest hero. That's me. That's you. All right. So he's rolling blue and yellow. That's my gray. He's gonna miss. Yeah! Uh -huh. Oh man. All right. It. All right. It's always nice when you call it. It just yeah. feels like, ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I knew this was this was fate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what are you guys gonna do? Uh, I am probably gonna go interact with Kristoff. So I don't know if you want to work on if you want to do something. Otherwise, I don't think the zombie can get to you. Yeah, unless I mean, it gets if I was going to do speed. anything, it would be taking down that guy, I guess. Um, so what I'm doing is not necessarily super important. All right. Um, yeah. So maybe you go first and then yeah, you can get the objectives. Yep, yeah. yep, absolutely. So all right, we're going to spend first two of my movement points to go. Oh, wait, hold on, wait, before we've got my disease. Yep. Let's try for a third time of this thing I'm really good at and don't seem to succeed at. Hey! hey! <laughs> All right, no longer disease. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> and Trunlo rejoices. Okay, uh, okay. so, you move so over. then I will spend my two. The priest, Kristoff, is fending off a group of rogue figures using an abandoned wagon for cover as he nimbly spins a quarterstaff. While Kristoff appears to be a capable fighter, the sheer number of his attackers may soon overwhelm him. All right, so you're going to save him. Yeah. Two of the rogue figures have Kristoff pinned against the wagon, about to deliver a killing blow. You step forward and dispatch the one on the left, just as Dame Eveline emerges from the darkness to cut down the one on the right. My thanks, says Kristoff. I must admit that actual combat is much different than the training I received in Vinyl Vale. Eveline nods her agreement. I just did not want to have to tell my superiors that I had lost yet another priest. You see Kristoff go pale as the lieutenant turns and gives you a wink and a wry smile. Discard this villager token. She's, she's just having fun with him. She is just having fun with him. Dame Evelyn surveys the carnage, then turns an assessing eye toward you. You fight well. Glad to have you on our side. She turns to Kristoff. We need you to figure out why these obelisks are suddenly glowing after nearly a millennium. I'm certain these robed figures have something to do with it. The young priest interrupts. They call themselves the Dread, Dragon Worshippers. I recognize the holy symbol they were all wearing. I'm surprised to find them in this great a number. I thought they were a small group of fanatics. Kristoff stares at the stone obelisk looming at the peak of the hill, a glint of curiosity in his eye. These runes are unlike anything I've seen before. I might need some help figuring this out. Objective, investigate the obelisk. Easy enough. Yeah, let's run up there and, uh, yeah, and do we'll stuff. just do that. Right so now. you still have a movement uh, I still have left. one movement point left, so I will start working my way back towards that obelisk. Okay, and turn. Zombies, no minions. Here's the master. Engage the closest hero who is not immobilized. Uh, so 
It can get there. Yep. And that's all uh, it can do. Attack a hero. Use grab on hero. Engage the closest hero. Nope. It okay. can't move again because of the yep. zombie shamble. Yep. Cool. It's done. All right. So now right. it's your turn. It's my turn. Yeah. Um, I guess I should uh, TCB down here. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Go for it. Uh, one, two. All right, and I'm going to attack this guy with All my right. scythe. Oh, yeah. Uh, once again, blue and yellow. Scythe it up. Yep. And he rolls a great defense die, mm -hmm. but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Well, there we go. Well, swing that was, yep, swing and a miss. Yep, that's fair. That's fair. So you still have two movement points left. You right? do. I do. Um, should I retreat? Start coming up towards this obelisk, maybe? Well, that's what cowards do. That that's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, uh, I can make some diagonal movements here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going one, two. Yeah. yeah. The old dodge dodge yep, around yep. the corner. Okay. And turn. The resting place disturbed. More oh. zombies. Okay. They continue to pour forth. Oh, All man. right. Okay. Uh, new round. Our turn. Oh, cool. Let's see here. Uh, what can we do with this obelisk these days? Uh, as you approach the obelisk, you can feel a heat radiating from the runes themselves. The symbols are ancient, and you struggle to comprehend their true meaning or the reason for their activation now. It's an action adjacent hero can test lore. I have such good lore. My you lore you is are five. very good at lore. Ah, wow. yes. Yes. Perfect. You're the man. All right. Uh, should I just run up there and do it? Yeah. Uh, yeah dude. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four. Testing lore. Gray and black, I have to get equal to or less than? Equal to or less than. Okay, it is barely possible for me to fail. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> I could hardly fail. Uh, I you got equal to. not you. fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Passed. The exact purpose of these runes still eludes you, but you do recognize some symbols used in spells of warding. Tendrils of magic pulse out from the obelisk and form lines of blue energy that wind their way across the entire hillside. Perhaps if you can find more examples of these runes, you could decipher their true intent. You race across the hillside, evading your pursuers as you dart among the shadows. While avoiding the main pathways, you search for more evidence of the rogue figures and the obelisks. Remove all tiles, figures, and tokens from the board. All right. Ooh. We're running around. Right. We don't have time to engage with the rest of these yeah. uh, these monsters. We have we have investigation to do. <laughs> to the obelisks. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you make your way in the darkness, listening for any sounds of approach. Each hero tests awareness. Did more heroes pass than fail? All right. Oh boy. All right. Uh, Let's see. I'm Here not we very go. aware. Not so, I'm, Trent, though, is also not very aware. <laughs> he is have... strong, but he is not aware. Oh, he is extra not aware. All right. So that is one fail. We all have a two. Hey! Oh, look at that. All right. It comes down to you, man. This is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Oh, oh, I'm stepping on, stepping on sticks. <laughs> uh, more heroes did not pass than fail. A bowstring twangs as you reach the crest of the latest hill. Another group of rogue figures emerges from the darkness. The melee ends quickly, but you find your energy drained from the constant skirmishes. Each hero suffers two fatigue. Oof, I don't fine. have any fatigue to suffer, so I must suffer that in damage. Oh Oof. no. Good thing I have this health potion. <laughs> Pulling her sword from the last dread corpse, Eveline barks at you. Whoever these dread are, they're organized and dangerous. We should abandon our scouting mission and return to Fort Roderick. We can't, cries Kristoff, precisely because they are so organized. We must discover what they want with these obelisks. Eveline grunts in assent, and your party continues on toward the light of a nearby campfire. We're going to have brunch there. I mean, that sounds like a perfect place to have brunch. You arrive at an abandoned campsite, finding no sign of its former occupants other than the burning embers of the campfire. You need 8A, 20A, and an entrance, as indicated. 8A, 20A. Where's my 20? 20 is the long so kind of bend. this yeah. one here. Yep. And we need the one with the campfire. Right? Yep. Eight. So as we're putting this together, yes. uh, there were some questions about Road to Legend. Can we talk a little bit more about it? How many campaigns are on Road to Legend right oh, now? Oh boy, a lot. <laughs> yeah. uh, so there, there are, I think, four at least mm -hmm. uh, full-length campaigns. Um, and then there, in addition to that, there's a, a delve mode, which is kind of like a procedurally generated like dungeon crawler sort of thing, where sure. you just kind of go in and face different stuff every time. There's a, a Trials uh, of Frostgate is what it's called, where it's like different kinds of like 
there's so there's like a horde mode and like different kinds of things where you like get scored each time okay. you're trying to like get the high score in these different areas there's a ton of stuff in road to legend and the base game and all the normal campaigns are free right i think delve mode and uh, uh trials of frostgate are like five bucks each sure but of course you do have to have the uh components correct. from those from those campaigns correct the though you, you can play uh at least two of the campaigns with just the core set okay um and then but then the cool thing about road to legend is that every additional like expansion that you get and stuff just opens up more content for you the app will integrate like the monsters that you have and the tiles that you have and all kinds of stuff it's pretty sweet sweet in that way all right well let's continue our own let's road continue. to legend yes <laughs> good, good transition there <laughs> great segue <laughs> so we're all over here all right Somewhere. uh on the entrance yes okay put me in, in back as you usual want to be in back as usual <laughs> yeah and we'll flank the front there Perfect. Uh, the magic tendrils are streaming out of a nearby cave, but a mound of broken rocks blocks your way. It appears the rocks were placed intentionally to form a barricade. Who would mm. do that? Maybe these cultists. The skittering sound of hundreds of tiny legs emanates from a cave. Place cave spider group as indicated. Oh, man. There's four of them. Four spiders. All right, so we've got yep. here, yep. here, yep. and here. Yep. Place one search token as shown. Setup complete. Objective: clear the cave-in debris. Easy enough. So let's see if we get up to that. Uh, can attempt to remove the barrier. Doesn't take an action, so we just have to get up there. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's do something. All right. Hmm. Who wants to lead the fray into the? Uh, I could. You know what? Standing back here, I can. Uh, looks like I can draw a line of sight to. Uh, at least one of these enemies. Oh, okay. sure. Cool. Uh, Do you want to maybe like heal yourself as well since you've taken a lot Yeah, of I'll use one action to actually use the health potion. Perfect. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, so let's do that. Um, mm -hmm. So I'll get rid of all of my damage. Yep. Uh, yep. So just awesome. uh, and then I will uh, still have, can't use my, uh, my, I don't have any, any fatigue left to give. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and target this, uh, this spider. Uh, let's pull out that yeah. card here. Cave spider. Card. Don't need these anymore. Cave spider. Uh, so they are rolling a gray. Mm -hmm. uh, I am rolling my red and blue. You need five range. I need five range. Yeah, I can't. I can't get up any further. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> just so close. short. That's okay. I feel safe back here now, though. So. Yeah. All right. <laughs> this will be fine. Okay. So that's the end of your turn. Oh boy. Spiders. After this activation, each hero adjacent to a cave spider must test willpower. Each hero adds shield to his result equal to the number of adjacent spiders. If you fail, you retreat two spaces. Okay. All right. Uh, so minions, engage the closest hero within five spaces of this monster who is not poisoned. That would be Averick at this point. One, All right. two, three. Perfect. Okay. Uh, attack a hero who is not poisoned. That's me, I'm not poisoned. Okay. What so are they rolling with there? Is that a That's a blue, blue and a yellow. yellow. All right, I got Throw my in gray. And yellow. I'm just gonna preemptively get this poison ready. I'm just, oh. <laughs> I have faith in you, but uh, just in case. Okay. <laughs> so I block one of those. Yep, uh, and that's a poison. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I love condition cards. And the, and the one damage. That's true, of course. And the one damage. Okay. Uh, so then the next one will engage the closest here within five spaces who is not damaged. Uh, one, two, three. Four, that's going to attack me. Yep, and he'll attack you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, no, 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 get out of here. All right, and the final one, uh, I don't, does he have a hero within five spaces? Does not have a hero within okay. five. Okay, engage the closest hero. All right, so it's going to move... Uh, da, da, da. Four, I think, is there one, speed. One, two, three, four. Yep. And that's, that's the stuff there. Yep. And then... Uh, engage the closest hero within five spaces who is not poisoned. Uh, that is still Trenlo, but that is it. We just have a barrier of spiders. Yep. Yeah. So many spiders. Uh, Master, engage the hero within five spaces with the most damage suffered. Uh, That's that, yes. Yep. Uh, he's going to try to get to you, but he's not going to be able to. Yep. Uh, one, two, three. Yep. And that's pretty much all you can do. All right. Cool. Okay. Uh, right. So you each have to test your willpower, okay. adding. Uh, so you add three shields to your result, and you mm -hmm. add two. All right. If you fail, you retreat two spaces. I succeed. I also succeed. Whoa. 
Whoa. Look yes. at that. Yep, because my evil power is four. Yeah. Four look as well. at you. Yep. Look at you guys. I'm right. afraid of these spiders. We've yep. got this. Look at you guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, you want to smack a spider? Uh, first, I have to try and get rid of this poison, which seems like it might be kind of tough for me. <laughs> but I'd love uh -oh. to try. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. nah, nah. You, you got this. Uh, so that guy's gone. Um, so my fist, or my might, is two. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. That didn't work, so I, I take a damage. Ooh. Ouch. That's gonna keep ticking. Yes, it is. Um, boy, should I hit a spider? Seems like the, the thing. Seems like the thing to do would be to hit a spider at this yeah. point. Yeah. Squash. Squash a spider. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Blue and yellow. And they're rolling gray? Yeah. They are rolling gray. They're rolling gray. Yep. All right. You only need to do three damage. Well, yeah. there it is. Look at that. All right. Uh, Squash. And, and, a, and a surge, and which a surge. I'm gonna use to heal yes. my ability. And you killed a and I spider. Killed, mm -hmm. So I get an essence harvest. Which one were you killing? I don't, I don't know if you... Uh, I would kill probably the one directly in front of me. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Okay. All right. That gives you Clears a path. up a nice avenue. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that was your first action. Yeah. Oh, man. Should I heal two damage? Hmm. You could attack the, sp the other spider. I could attack the other spider. You know, I had success attacking that first spider. Yeah. I'm going to attack this one. All right. Attack, attack, so that attack, one right attack. there. Mm, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so two right. surges nope. there. Yes. Uh, so that's just one damage then, and then two surges. Mm -hmm. um, one I'll use to recover another health, I suppose. Okay. Uh, stamina. S stamina? Yeah, yeah. You can use it to recover stamina. No, no, it's his ability. Oh, it's my ability. ability. Yep, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, you can do one of each. Yes, I think that's what I'm going to do. The attack was more a uh, defensive measure for myself. <laughs> so. as, it, as it is. Yeah, because I can't use that on anything else. Right? Okay. Right. Okay. Yep. So that will be my turn. And of your turn. All right, my turn. Uh, so I recover two stamina because you are all. I am all stamina all out. All out. All right. Uh, let's let's go for a move here. Let's go one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna zap this one. Nice. Right, right here. All right. Okay. So okay. So first first things first. Let's go ahead and grasp that one, uh, the master, mm -hmm. and stun it. Nice. nice. With the power of Earth. <laughs> All right. Just see this giant like fist grab it. <laughs> grab the spider to yes. the ground. That's that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, all right, blue and yellow. Oh, look oh, at that. Just that's a, just, that's yep. a dead spider. That is a dead super fella. dead spider. <laughs> yep. uh, that surge. Am I? I'm within three spaces of you. Yep. Uh, I'm actually gonna recover fatigue. I think, okay. Instead. Sure. Uh, I do get an essence though for you killing that. Yes. Spider. Yep. Uh, so I defeated a monster with a magic weapon, so I exhaust my rune shard cash. Yep. And finally, I take an action, and, or not an action, but I'll use my tidal wave to, that's three damage. Three damage, because you have three of those spider. exhausted. Yep. Nice. Nice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Feels good. Only two health left there. End of my turn. New round. Oh boy. What, should we see if we just can clear out these spiders real yeah, quick? Yeah, I think that's probably yeah. good. I might have to rest, because Trunlo not having any uh, any stamina to work with is mm -hmm. a little tough, so yeah, I might want to... Yeah. I can try hitting that spider in front of you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you squashed one. Just, yeah, I just squashed, smash it. Yeah. yeah? Can I go first, then? Go yeah. for it. Okay. Uh, so I have to test for the poison, mm -hmm. which is fine. Yep. Because it's going to go away. Don't watch. Right now. Nope. Oh, so oh, close. So close. So, close. <laughs> uh, so we'll take a damage. That's uh -huh. fine. Um, then I'm going to try and smash that spider. Perfect. Yeah. With my blue and my yellow and this gray. My blue and my yellow. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. So what, what are your surges? I can do pierce. Okay. So how much health does it have left? It has three health total. Oh, man. Uh, okay. No. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's like two damage for much no matter what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll do two damage to it. All right. Let's go for it. That's fine. And you have another action. You have a second action. Yeah. Can I smash it again? Yeah, yeah. smash All it right. again. Yep. Let's finish it right here. Smash her, smash her. Yeah, yeah. that did it. Dead. That did it. Nice. Flat. And I will take another essence. Okay. And turn in there. Uh, no minions. After his activation, each cave spider performs a move action and retreats. Mm -hmm. All right, so, Master. 
Engage the hero within four spaces with the most damage suffered. That's that is you. you. Yep. All right, so fine. He's, so it's just gonna step up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then he's gonna attack. That's you. it, though. He's stunned. Oh, yep. Yep. That's right. Uh, but then he performs a move action and yep. retreats. And retreats. Aha. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. That's what I did to his buddies. Yeah. Running <laughs> yeah. away. It was like, oh no. Yeah. Okay. Cave spider's done. All right. I'm gonna come up there and, and, and squash this guy for good. Okay. Uh, one. Oh, so start a turn. You're still fatigued out. I am. So yeah. heal two fatigue there. This is what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm your battery. One, two, <laughs> two three, four. Step there. Uh, ah, screw it. I'll step here. I'll, I'll step up right next to Oh, yeah. I'm just, just going right. <laughs> to splat it, you know? It's, <laughs> um, okay. So let's see here. Let's attack. Blue and yellow to gray. All right. All right. Oh wow. Yeah, that's yeah, a, that's, that's, a, that's, good. A that's a splat. That's a yeah. super dead spider, and you have a splat. you have a search to spend. Yes, I will. I'm not close enough to heal, but I'll recover my last stamina with that. Nice. Uh, I guess I'll use my rune shard cash, even though that doesn't matter so much. Uh, Spiders are gone. That was that was my turn. Uh, the group is defeated. Splat. End of my turn. Perfect. All right. All right, this is going to be real quick. I'm just going to uh, start moving in this direction, yep. and then I'm going to rest, mm -hmm. and then at the end of my turn, this gets awesome. recovered. So. Boom, end turn. Full, ready to go. New round. No monsters, no nothing. Wow. Here we go. Free, All right. free rain. All right. It's like cool. a breathing moment, right? Yeah, We've got nice. the nice fire. We can yeah. engage with brunch. It's wonderful. Yeah. Now the spiders are gone. All right. Uh, I'm the closest, so I guess I can just go like one, two. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it's not an action to remove this barrier, at least not yet. Uh, you begin to disassemble the barrier. Active hero tests might. Oh, my might is awful. <laughs> oh, um, and then that for, whole one die, or that whole one die. You get minus uh, one shield for each adjacent hero. Right, so additional when this adjacent fails, hero. Yeah. Yes, so I can help out a little bit yeah. when I inevitably fail. No! Oh! Close. So close. No, I only have oh, one. You only have one. Has one. I, I'm really bad at this. I was like, I can do it. You try to push through the barricade, but the effort proves more difficult than you imagined. Suffer a fatigue. All okay. Right. Uh, I mean, I guess I could try it again. You got nothing else to do? Um, I, I don't know. I'll just, uh, whatever. I, I'm not going to do it. I'll just rest. Sure. There we go. <laughs> All right, uh, okay. I can go because I am yeah. fairly mighty. Yeah. Yes. This I is where like I. This, this is where I. I I'm strong, so okay. I will move next to you, and we will. Uh, we'll do it together. We'll do this together. Okay. Right. Remove barrier. Uh, test might minus one shield for me. <laughs> oh no! Wow. <laughs> all right. All right. Cool. 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 Uh, uh, it's more difficult than you imagined. Uh, it Suffer really up is. Yeah. It truly is. Uh, let's try that again this time. Okay. All right. Once more with feeling. Hey, hey! There it is. With effort, you manage a clear path through the barricade. <laughs> Definitely effort. Discard the objective tokens. All right. The cave continues deeper into the hillside. So we need Ooh. 15A, 16A, two end caps, one transition, and one locked door. So 15A, 16A. You said one transition. Mm -hmm. And then we need a locked door. Great. Yes. There's our transition. Locked door there. Yep. This guy goes like right there. And then awesome. end cap. And we need one more end cap right on the end there. there we Look go. at this cave we found, you guys. Yeah, this is awesome. And it's so empty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like totally the, empty. We're just it's completely <laughs> devoid there's, there's of anything. There's nothing in here. Nope. Deeper within the caves, a wall shimmers with magical energies. Place a green objective token. Look at that. It was magic. The smooth obsidian sides of an obelisk burst from the cave floor and pierce the ceiling. Its orange runes have a faint warm glow, but they are fading quickly. White objective token. Oh, snap. Through the darkness, you see a large figure rise up from the ground. You have interrupted its slumber. Place the Etten group as All right. indicated. So, because we are a group of three, we have one Master Etten oh, in one. that space. Awesome. Master Etten. I'll place a search token as indicated. So that's right there. Setup complete. Objective, investigate the obelisk. Easy. All right. All right. Uh, oh wait, so we should have ended my turn already. Oh yes. Yep. 
Well, it's gonna be weird because yeah, this yeah. is okay. Yeah, it's, this is, this works. It's okay. fine. Yep. Yeah. So no minions. Uh, attack hero. You throw on adjacent that. hero. Engage the closest hero. All right. So we're gonna move. Uh, it has a speed of three. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, three, and then it expands out. So its mm -hmm. back end will be there. There you go. Yep. Yep. Uh, back to the top. Still can't do any of those things. But yep. one, two, three. It now can get here. Yep. Oh boy. That one's activated. And then and you and then you've done and now it's your turn. Yes. Okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, Maverick, we found this giant at <laughs> Yeah. I'm still poisoned back here. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. You've got bigger things to well, not bigger, but you've got things to worry about. That does not. No. no. Um, however, I should have five on here. You know. Uh, so I can do. I'm gonna do two things here. Okay. I'm um, trying to catch up to you guys a little bit. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, and then before this gets too crazy, I'm actually going to stream a life mm -hmm. to heal up to four nice. damage. Nice. So That's good. I'm poisoned, but I'm quickly counteracting it mm -hmm. with my life essence you have, that I borrow. Uh, an action, right? Uh, yes. Um, mm. Mm -hmm. Not much to do. I guess I can just square up with you guys here. You can fatigue there, and then you, like use a fatigue to gain the movement point. And oh then sure. You can rest is your second action. Yeah, that's actually better. And yeah, just so. clear it all yeah. off. Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. Easy all enough. All right, uh, and turn. Advanced pro tips. <laughs> 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 all right, hero turn. You gonna uh, you gonna hit this boy? This guy right in front uh, of us. Yeah, I yeah we I can I can let's actually since I'm actually not fully exhausted here, mm -hmm. let's uh, let's go ahead and put that on at the start of my turn yeah. to make this Etten my, my uh, I'm going to track this Etten. Chosen target. It's chosen target. <laughs> Where so, can it be? <laughs> that thing there. <laughs> uh, and then my first action is going to be to attack. So the Etten does roll two gray, uh, two gray though. Oof, so so there is a lot of potential for that, but we'll see. I'm getting an extra two damage here, so oh, oh, one's uh, good. Okay. One's okay. okay. All right, sure. Uh, so I get the plus one for my ability and the plus one for mm -hmm. the chosen target, so sure. it will still take two damage. It sure. does bleed. It does bleed, and if it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and then I'm going to attack it again, uh, mm -hmm. since it's still my chosen target. Oh, no! Oh, sad. All right. Okay. Uh, that is me. That's the end of your turn. Do you want me to step, you know what, I think, I feel like I should step out of there. Sure. Uh, although you don't, you don't have any to recover, so me getting, uh, I will go fatigued out again, which I don't know if is the greatest. Yeah, so, I mean, I can plan on going next, okay. that's fine. Right. And then I can step out of the way to let okay. you hit it. Yeah. That works. Okay. Uh, throw places the hero five spaces away instead of three. <laughs> All right, engage the hero within five spaces with the lowest might. Oh, oh that's, that's me. you, that's you for you. <laughs> All right, it's gonna, it's gonna throw me. <laughs> okay. So, well, you're getting out of the way throw. Anyway. Choose a hero uh, adjacent to this monster. That hero must test might. If he <laughs> nah, fails, nah, nah. remove the hero from the map and place them on the empty space within five spaces away of his original space. Super oh, fail. Super fail. Yeah, super fail. Uh, okay. Uh, he counts as entering that space, then the hero suffers a damage. Okay, so it has to be five spaces away? From your current space, yep. Uh, but we choose where it goes. Yes. All right, I guess we just put me right there. He threw you way back there. Yep, and I take a damage. Oh, boy. Ouch. Um, can he use throw again? Uh, no, he okay. can only use each of those right. once, so he's, he is he's done. done. And, and yep. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess you can just go for it. Yeah, uh, sure. Because uh, I have a ranged weapon. Sure. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say the good news is you yeah, no longer have to go out in the of that space. So I can uh, be right here. Yeah. You all fatigue up there. I'll fatigue up there. Yeah. So right, I see yeah. the better way to go. Yep. All right, my trusty scythe. I don't think it's failed me this entire game. So. <laughs> no, don't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, hey, there we go. Yeah, right. yeah. That's a, one sneaks through there, right? Yep. All yep. right. Yep. Um, yeah. Every little bit counts. Yep, and then I'll do it again. Did mm -hmm. you test for your poison? I didn't test for my poison. Oh, okay. Let's get that in real yeah, quick. Yeah, let's get it out of here. Okay, nope. Oh, that was so again. close. Let's All take right. a damage for that. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Uh, that's bad. Uh, okay. okay. Well, my yep. turn. Just soaking it. Yep. More. All right, my turn. Um, All let's right. see. Let's go ahead and fatigue twice up here. Um, so I won't be able to stun this guy. He's too big. I don't have enough elemental cards that I can exhaust. 
Um, so if it's a multi-space monster, because I'm attacking a space, right? Because then I can then use tide. So the exact wording is? A monster adjacent to the target space suffers, here, you can just read it. Sure. Exhausts <laughs> every performing attack. A monster adjacent to the target space suffers damage equals the number of elemental cards exhausted. So I believe the ruling uh, has been that if it, it, the monster cannot be adjacent to itself okay. in any way, okay. even if just, it's a larger monster. Okay, all right, all right. I'm just trying to twist the rules. Sure, no, I understand. <laughs> I'm looking for every little advantage. Yeah. This is the time to do it too, right? Okay. Like, does it sneak through? Yeah. All right, <laughs> all right. do a ruling right. on screen. So I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna swing for it. All right, all right. That all right. is that's pretty. Uh, no, that doesn't do. No, 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 the extra no, the surge no. doesn't help. I'm just at three, and it has three. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, use it to recover then instead. Yes, that is true. Uh, I'm close enough to you to recover damage. Yes. Oh, nice. All right, and I have another attack because I fatigued up there. And put your ah. Uh, oh. Nope. Just soaking no. it. Nothing. All right. It's a tough dude. End turn. Hit the button for real. There we go. <laughs> New round. All right. All right. Uh, well, you seem like you yeah, have the best shot. You're our best shot. All right. All right. <laughs> I will ready this. I will use my last fatigue because mm -hmm. now you can get back uh, some yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's right. I can. Uh, and then I am going to. Yeah, let's do this. I've got my red. I've got my blue, mm -hmm. and I've got the two gray. Yeah. Those oh, are much nice. better numbers. Oh, All right. Nice. So. Uh, okay. Let's see. We have the five, six, seven for chosen target. Mm -hmm. I can pierce one, mm -hmm. uh, so that's basically going away. So it's going to take six. Yep. That wow. is enough to. I don't actually. Do I even need to do that? Oh well, it doesn't matter because I only can use the one surge yeah. to recover mm -hmm. this. I'm not damaged at all. But it oh, has toppled. Snap. It Defeat is done. Her. Yes, Etten's defeated. As you push the Etten back, it swings wildly, trying to knock you away. You spring forward, launching a flurry of attacks against the towering foe. The Etten staggers backward to the rear of the cave, trying unsuccessfully to swat you with its meaty hands. Ducking under a wild attack, you launch yourself up the Etten's chest and land a finishing blow that slams it hard against the wall and then the clave cave floor. Yeah. As the dust settles, you make out specks of light creeping through the back area of the cave. You've discovered another way out. Place two objective tokens, as indicated. All right, that's it. And your turn I is still not have over. one more action. Yeah. Uh, so because I am super slow, I'm gonna keep trucking. Uh, what is this? What is this? If I tap on that, uh, section of the wall shimmers with magical energy. He says you can search. Oh, up. okay. That's an action though. So I am yep. just going to uh, one, two, three. Okay. And I am done. Um, let's see, I could go, so you are not tapped out, so I recover a fatigue. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, is just is walking it, right this, by this, is this magical a lore energy. energy? <laughs> well, you know, such things, <laughs> such things have a way, you, you check it out. You touch the shimmering wall. <laughs> Uh, this obelisk looks much larger than the first one I encountered. The runes, runes are fading with each passing moment. All right, so I can test my lore, which I'm real good at. So I'm going to go, oh, I'm way back here. Oh, yeah. I was counting from you. One, two, two, three, four. I have three fatigue. One, two, three. Oh, I can't catch Just gets you there. short. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'll touch the thing. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Fatigue. One fatigue. There we go. All right. I'm sure it's fine. It's just shimmering magical energy on a wall. You press your hand against the wall, intent on discovering the source of the mystical <laughs> energy. As you do, you feel yourself pulled at the waist, and you find yourself suddenly transported through the cave wall and into an ancient crypt. Uh -oh. uh, place tile 10B and an end cap, end cap, and place the active hero to the indicated space. <laughs> cool. A sarcophagus lies open near the center of the room. Place a search token as indicated. It's there. It's probably a, a treasure sarcophagus. A skeleton sits in a corner, a dark red stain beneath it on the stone floor. A rusted lever is set into the wall next to it. Place a red objective token. <laughs> An ancient guardian comes to life at your presence. Place a master elemental in the indicated space. All right, so here we go. Hello there. <laughs> Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Okay. So that's the end of my turn. 
Cool. Right, because I searched. Uh, uh, yes, you moved and searched. Yep. Okay. Uh, All right, elementals, water affects each hero on the map. Oh. Oh, what? All right, attack a hero within three spaces. I can do that. Yep, so he's gonna roll blue and red against my gray. Yes. Okay, so uh, he does, that is enough range. Uh, so he's doing two damage. Uh, no surge abilities, right? Correct. Okay, uh, two damage to me. Uh, spot the closest hero. He doesn't have to that. do that. Yep. Use water. So water. Each hero adjacent to this monster, although we have the yep. all heroes on the map, oh, man. Uh, are going to test their will. Each hero that fails suffers two fatigue. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. <laughs> my will is four. And ah, nice. Uh, my will is also four. Uh, hey. All right. My will is three. Oh, I'm two. Yeah, you're good. All right. Water is nice. This water is nice nah. and refreshing. <laughs> no. That's what I say. Uh, you're All right, right. Averick. Can we, can we get there? Can I touch this? It's again? still there. Yeah. Uh, mm, do I want to touch it? <laughs> do you want help? I mean, sure. Yeah. Come mm. and help. Okay. Yeah. I feel like we can take it down. Yeah. Uh, one, two. Mm -hmm. You should fatigue. fatigue there. Before I do anything, I have to okay. test my poison. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, no. Okay. That's fine. Uh, fatigue there, you think? I would do that. Sure. Yeah. One, two, yep. via fatigue. Yep. And search. And search. Uh, the strange tugging sensation, you're teleported and you come in there. So on our Anywhere Jason. in that. Okay, so I can be like, I can be right there. Yep. Okay. Cool. Okay, and, and then you have an action. I'm gonna hit this thing. Yeah, you are. Yeah, what's it roll? Uh, just a black die. Okay, and I'm just, rolling a blue and fun. yellow storm. Just a black die. <laughs> no big deal. Oh, oh dang no. it. <laughs> Your sight right. has failed you. Oh, man. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, and that is your turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. New round. Back to the top. Do you want Trenlo to come help you? Uh, I mean, you're not going to investigate that obelisk, I think, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, my, my, one, my one knowledge is probably bad for the obelisk. So yeah, uh, I can jump in there and immediately get an attack off if we think that... I unfortunately can't use my uh, chosen target, but yes, I can fatigue up to it, search to go in, and then attack it. At least try. Sure, yeah. This way we're all together. Yeah. Brunch yeah. pals, right? Yeah, yeah, Brunch yeah. Brunch pals. Uh, so we'll ready that. I'll okay. spend my one fatigue. This also mm -hmm. allows you to recover too because I'll be there yes. in full fatigue. Uh, I will then search. Yep. It works the hey. same as it has. <laughs> Fortunately. Uh, I'm going to stand here though. Uh, no, I'll go here. This is yeah. fine. <laughs> um, and so then I am using my red and my blue mm -hmm. against its black. Take it down. Oh boy. Wow. Nope, even with my extra, does nothing. Okay. Hooray. All right. <laughs> After each elemental's activation, that elemental uses air. So Ooh. he's going to spot the closest hero. He's done that. Attack the closest hero in line of sight. Uh, so that could be, I'll take that. I have the most, I have no damage right now. All right, okay. so he's going to attack you. All right, so he's rolling a red and a blue against my gray. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I am blocking two because of my extra ability. Yep, he doesn't uh, have any surges. He doesn't have any surges, so I'm just going to take one damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it will use air. So uh, if he's oh, within yep. two spaces of a hero, perform a move action and retreat. Uh, yep. So he can move up to four. He doesn't. There's not a lot of spaces that get him super far away. I think this is the only way he can move without being adjacent to another hero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he'll just go there. Okay. And then he uses air. Uh, so his air ability is, until the start of your next turn, this monster can only be affected by attacks from adjacent figures. Oh, okay. Good, good news is, he's he's fairly close. Yeah. Okay, elemental's done. All right. All right. Uh, you want to you wanna step up and punch yeah, him? Yeah, but first let me get rid of this poison. Yeah. I know yes. I've been telling you guys that. <laughs> it feels I, like years. I believe in you. Oh! Hey! Okay, all right. Poison goes away. Nice. I discarded a condition card. That was a gnarly poison. Get an essence. It really was. Yeah. Um, okay. So mm, I could fatigue out and then attack twice. 
That seems mm. good. That seems good. That seems pretty good. That yeah. seems pretty good. I'm gonna do that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is me. Mm -hmm. Fatigue out. Yep. And then I am going to yep. attack. Yeah. Blue, yellow, and a black. Oh boy! Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. What better? Oh. That's, okay, that's that's good. something. That's right. I, yeah, I, hey. I hit it. It only has <laughs> six health. We just yeah. need to hit it. That's all we gotta do. Alright, alright. That's the end of your turn. That is the end of my turn. Alright, so I heal two fatigue. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the start of my turn. Um, hmm. I'm gonna see what's in the sarcophagus, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, now that we're here, just take yeah. a look around, man. Yeah. Two. Take your time. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Fatigue there. Peering into the open stone monument, you see the twisted remains of some strange humanoid figure. Oh boy. What's in Dude. here? The skeleton before you has bones where they should not be and an elongated face that looks unnatural. It's Gross. an alien. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking away. Nothing shared on this table is like descent cannon. Right. Not all not here. Not <laughs> <laughs> Shaking away the eerie feeling, you notice a large shield has been laid across the body of the figure, a powerful energy radiating off of it. You found the shield of the dark god. Oh. Place the shield of the dark god relic in the player of the active hero. Oh, I, got a, I got the shield of the dark god. I can't hold it at the same time as my staff. But <laughs> <laughs> I also cannot hold it. Uh, do you have a one-handed weapon? I do. Yes. Oh. I could have the Shield of the Dark on. Exhaust this card after rolling defense dice to reroll some or all of the defense dice. To keep the new result only if it is better. Wow. That seems pretty good. Yeah. Can I pass this off to him? As, uh, take uh, an action for you to trade, but you could uh, okay. could do that. Um, or I could try attacking it. Uh, it seems. Yeah. Sure, sure. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hand yeah, you. Thanks, man. Dude, check, check. Look what I found. Yeah. Oh, great with my <laughs> As elementals and, like roiling and like you know fire and water and all that. Yeah. I'm like, dude, check this out. <laughs> I'm gonna look in here. Oh, this yeah. is awesome. You should have this. <laughs> all right, new round. All right. Uh, I cannot use my chosen target bit, but nope. do we want me to try to lay into this? Yeah. Twice? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's Shoot do it. That. <laughs> All right. So. Kill him dead. Killing him dead is the plan. All right. Here we go. Coin flip show says never good to use items named after dark gods. That is also <laughs> true. That's fine. It's fine. Ah, wow. Here we go. See, here we go. Look at what's happening. Right. Ever so. since I dug out that shell, <laughs> maybe that's what it was. Yeah. It was like the power and energy was there. Yeah. Was yeah. Our shape. luck has turned. Uh, so with my extra attack uh, from my ability, it's yeah. actually doing five, which is the six it needs to kill it. Boom! It's just straight dead. Just dead. Uh, Needed so elemental. That is done and. A uh, second action. Um, I'm not gonna be able to interact with. What is that? What is that red, red thing? An old lever is set into the wall. Dust and cobwebs cover the mechanism after centuries of neglect. Cool. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm not gonna be able to interact with it this turn. Maybe I should just rest so that yeah, I'm ready for rest. next time. So yeah. I'll do that. Yeah. All right. Uh, end of my turn. I'll lose all that. All right. I'm assuming that that's gonna open this door. Yeah. Um, do you want to maybe open it since it might be rusted and I can't? Do any <laughs> I can't do anything that requires physical oh, exertion. Maybe I shouldn't have been the one to attack. Yeah, my huh? physical exertion is two. Slightly better than your one. <laughs> We're going to be stuck in this chamber for another just, century. You, know, you think the staff is for magic? It's actually for me to lean yeah. on. <laughs> okay. Um, I, can, I can try. Yeah. I can try. Yeah. I believe in you. Yeah. You can try. Yeah. Uh, I do have to walk up here. Yep. Okay. And then I can interact with it. Okay. Search. The uh, the lever is rusted, but with enough pressure, you think you could move it. Okay. Uh, test might. All right. Looking for right. two. Here we go. Oh! Hey! I did it. <laughs> you can hear gears and pulleys working somewhere behind walls, and the echo of grinding stone fills the chamber as the large door swings open. Discard the locked door and this objective token. All right. Oh, uh, you still have movement points left. Uh, with the ancient crypt oh, yeah. sealed, the portal vanishes. Cool. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Right. So yeah. I moved once to get there, right? Yeah. So, one, two, three. Just going back this way. Perfect. Up. All right. All right, now let me see if I can check out this obelisk. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, 
Uh, you will get. Oh, uh, I he get is to recover. Fully, you do I get to recover. recover. He's yeah. fully. I'm fully. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Nice. So one, two, three, four, and then three more to get all the way there. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I move pretty fast for someone who has no physical right. ability. <laughs> you just kind of glide along the wind. <laughs> yes. All right, I'm going to assess my lore. I know everything about everything. <laughs> I could not fail. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that was perfect timing. Like. Uh, the runes shift and waver, making it hard to discern their intent. I can't read these complaints, Kristoff. Can you? Uh, yes, Kristoff, I can. Just give me a second. I'm winded. <laughs> you get it? I'm winded. Oh, from, from right. that was good. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of my turn. And turn. New round. New round. Okay. All right. No monsters yeah. popping up. Just bumbling our way like, through yes. this. All right, all right, all right. Now that I've taken a moment <laughs> to, uh, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's see what these runes actually say. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Clear, there we go. Much more clear now. Analyzing the second obelisk, you can confirm that many of the symbols related to relate to warding magic in some way. The symbols are ancient compared to the ones you're familiar with. As the glow of the runes continues to fade, you can again see magic tendrils coursing around the obelisk and leading outward. You share your findings with Kristoff, who nods and scribbles in a small book. Yes, take this down for me, Kristoff. <laughs> <laughs> I see, he says. The warding runes are linked to the ley line somehow. He trails off into mumbling. Discard this objective token as indicated. Objective, escape the cave. Okay. Uh, we just got these two question so marks stopping move. us. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I can take one more fatigue. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. I guarantee I cannot move these rocks. <laughs> uh, the Giant's Fall has opened up a small gap in the back of the cave, revealing an exit. If all heroes are within four spaces of this objective token, the party can choose to leave the cave. does not require an action. Awesome. All right. Well, I'm here. So, yeah. just... so come on over. All yeah. right. So then your turn is done. Yes. And enter. Okay. All right. Uh, I can... Just stroll along out of the cave. Super can easy. I even, can I get, I don't think if I can get there. One, two, three, one, one two, two. three, one, two, three, and then, and then I'm fatigue. exactly. One, two, three. Oh, I have to be four away from it? Uh, from an objective token. From an objective yeah. token. Yes. So if I'm, yeah, I have to be here, right? One, two, three, four. So three, yeah, so mm -hmm. one, two, three, okay. one, two, and three. That puts me within range. Great. Just, just barely. Okay. And, now, and, now and then I am done. Yep. yep. Okay. Cool. Come on, come on over. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Perfect. Oh, I guess we won't enter and we will just choose to leave the cave. Yes. Crawling out of the cave, you get your bearings. Kristoff approaches you, his eyes searching across the large expanse of the hillside. There, he points to a bright glow in the distance. That is what we are looking for. There's a powerful magic at work here. With Kristoff as your guide, you set out across the hills toward the amber light. Remove everything from the board. Following Kristoff's directions, you make your way through the winding hillside. Each hero tests awareness. Oh, this worked oh, no. really good yeah, last time. Yeah, we were time. so aware oh, last time. Okay. All right, let's all test our awareness. Oh, okay. <laughs> I passed this one, actually. It's true. You were the only yeah. one of us who passed. <laughs> all right, looking for two. Big two. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right, here we go. Also looking for two. Nope. nope. <laughs> we could just say we failed. Well, I got to test You two. should test, though. Yep, absolutely. Uh, uh, nope, okay. we all failed. Good news. Yeah, hooray. <laughs> You manage to avoid several patrols as you get closer to Kristoff's goal. The hair at the back of your neck stands up, charged by the electrical energy in the air. As you pass through a clearing, you are ambushed by another patrol. You leap into action alongside Evely and Kristoff once more, and again you are victorious, but the constant skirmishes are taking their toll. We each take a damage and a fatigue. I just have to take two damage because I am I maxed out. Max. I did the same. Ouch. Jeez, I'm hurting. It's okay. I can, I can help. Kristoff's quarterstaff is a blur as he dispatches the last dread cultist. I do believe I'm getting the hang of this, he gasps. Perhaps next time I can rescue you, my lady, rather than the other way around. Eveline shakes her head, then dashes forward and raises her shield just in time to block a dagger hurled by one of the supposed corpses surrounding you. Perhaps, she says, stalking forward and slamming her shield into the cultist as he struggles to rise, but I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> These two are just flirting, and we're yeah. just like third wheel here. <laughs> uh, staying within cover, you make your way to the base of the hill, careful to cloak yourselves in shadow. Kristoff's brow furls. It's some kind of ritual. He points to the familiar tendrils of magic flowing toward the hilltop. They appear to be tracing magical ley lines across the hills, which all converge here. 
All right, so we need 37A, three end caps, and one entrance. Place the heroes on the entrance. Cool. Evan, I assume you want your traditional location. Yes, yes my, <laughs> my, place of, uh, my place of honor Yeah. in the back. Kristoff mm -hmm. bites his lip while scanning the hilltops. I have an idea. Perfect. If we ward the obelisk against the ley lines, then whatever the cultists are attempting to do will be foiled. He makes quick mental calculations. We need to set up the warding spell in specific locations if this is going to work. He points to distinct positions around the hill. Three objective tokens, as indicated. These are the areas where the warding spell needs to be needs to be cast. Yes, sorry. Right there. Over here. And where's that third one? Is it... Oh, you uh, got it. You got, got it. it. Cool, I got you. Cool. Atop the hill is the largest obelisk you've encountered so far. It's right there. It's, it's <laughs> there on the map. The runes are glowing brighter than the others, and you notice that the tendrils intersect at the stone. Surrounding it are several figures, all dressed in the same robes as your ambushers. Place the flesh molder group. They're back. These guys. Oh, boy. Uh, so, again, we know that we are using a master yep. and two, two of the minions. Yep, so master goes there. I'd like to think that they are uh, here at the obelisk. Yes, they're all just hanging out. That's right. Dave Evelyn draws your attention to a lone figure walking among the different groups, barking orders. I've seen that mm. one before. His name is Belthier, a mercenary of some ill repute. Someone has paid him a lot of gold to get him here. He's not one for causes. Place the Belthier lieutenant as indicated. Oh man, he looks so good. Yeah, Belthier is a pretty popular uh, character. Right? Yeah. He's yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah, Belthier is where it's at. Two search tokens as shown. So one there and one there. And where's the first one that was here? Yep. Perfect. Uh, set up complete. Objective, disrupt the ritual. Okay. All right. Okay, so how do we do these things here? Uh, this is one of the locations he's identified for a ward spell to be cast. Well, I imagine I'll be the only one who's any good <laughs> at this. Yep. But, uh, I mean, you're about to end your turn, right? You have, like, one movement point left? I have you? one movement point left. Uh, and so I'll use that movement point. Or am I right here? That's you. All right, I'm charging forward. <laughs> Very good. This will yep. be fine. <laughs> Flesh molders. Each attack gets plus one surge. Pretty sure it doesn't spend any gains of movement points. So the minions, they want to spot the closest hero. That would be Avrik. Yep. Attack the closest hero, then retreat. All right. Maybe that was not the smartest move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So they are attacking you. Uh, the Flesh molders have uh, a blue and a yellow. Okay. Blue and a yellow, and I have a gray. Yeah. So yes. this will be enough. Uh, okay. Oh. Ouch. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So uh, two through and a surge. They have two surges. So first they try to heal, and then they do plus damage. Okay. So they will do three damage to you. Okay. And then they didn't spend a surge. That's plus one to their. Yep. So then and, they're going to retreat. And they're going to retreat. So uh, one, two, three, four, and five. Yep. Uh, so then the other minion will do the same thing. He wants to spot the closest hero. So he has to move up one. Yep. Right? yep. He's going to move there. And then he'll attack the closest hero okay. and then retreat. All right. Here we go. Watch yeah. this. Watch this perfect defense right here. Uh, okay. All right. So <laughs> three surges. Uh, <laughs> so plus one damage. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll take two, I think. I'll right? take two damage. Yep. Yep. How you doing over there? Uh, not great. In fact, I am one hit away. Uh-oh. Uh, All right. No. Uh, and then he'll retreat. One, two. Uh, he has two extra movement. Three, four, because he used one to move up. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, and then and one more. Yep. What's that last guy going to do? Hit me? <laughs> no, he's going to miss. Oh. You're calling <laughs> it now missing. Oh, uh, yes, miss. he's going to do the exact same thing. He's going <laughs> to uh, attack the closest hero and then retreat. Okay. And he can already see you, so. Yep. That's fine. He needs how much range? Uh, he needs three. He's not getting that. No way. Okay. Uh, however, I'm still dead. You did a really good job yeah. of blocking, though. I, uh, kudos for that. Yep. Um, all right. So, okay. Uh, you will remove the, uh, or you will you will fill up on your damage and on your fatigue. It'll, yep. You're not going to be flipping your uh, mm -hmm. your card. Okay. Yep. Uh, you will go down here. Okay. Uh, we will let the app know that you have fallen. Okay. You didn't want it to be easy. Right? No. I mean, yeah. sure. So this is perfect. All right. Knocked out. All right. Yep. Uh, so now um, one of us can try to revive you, or you can revive okay. um, on your own turn. But that's your entire turn. So it's sure. usually more beneficial for us to try to do it. Okay. Yes. Uh, and then he's also going to retreat. Correct. Uh, he ended up with. 
Uh, he did not need to spend that surge for the damage, did he? One, two, three, four, he did not. Nope. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, Belfier, his attack affects each hero within two spaces of him. Engage the farthest hero within three spaces. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Uh, engage the closest hero. All right. Uh, so Belfier's movement is four mm -hmm. on a three-player game. Uh, one, two, three, four. Still can't engage me. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, engage the farthest hero within three spaces of this monster. Uh, so I am still that, so he is going to step up. Yep. And that's where he will stand. All right. Toe to toe. The mighty Trenlo the Strong. <laughs> All right. New round. Oh, boy. Hmm. Okay. Well. So I can. Uh, does he count as... Uh, a hero that is fully fatigued? Right. A hero within three spaces of me. That is, I believe yep. so, yes. Yeah, okay, great. All right, so I've, I have a plan. Right? Okay. So I'll right. heal two, and I'll take one uh, to, to scooch up there. Sorry, was I defeated there? You were defeated. So all oh, my all of your Yep, away. that's oh, true. No. That's okay. That's okay. I'll get it back. That's fine. Yeah. It'll all come Things back. Things will continue to die. All yes. right, first action, I'm going to help you recover. Mm -hmm. So two red dice, right? Yes. All right, can you pass me two reds mm -hmm. so that I can... Revive you. You recover four health. All right. And then you will stand Sweet. back up. Recover. Recover. Okay. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to try and do this ward spell thing. I'm going to cast the ward. Uh, the twisting magical energy in the air fades. Its connection to the obelisk weakened. For a brief moment, you can hear a voice in your mind, distant and desperate. As you strain to listen to the voice, the voice suddenly subsides and is gone. The obelisk's runes dim. Discard this objective token. Cool. Okay, anyone can do this thing. Yeah. It's all, all right. good. Only two more to go. Yep. Uh, so I am done with my turn. Flesh molders. Flesh molders. Minions. Oh, no. So each time they recover, oh, no. non-monster. <laughs> minions, spot the closest hero. All right. So they're coming. They're coming. Yep. Yep. Uh, so, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. uh, closest hero is unfortunately yep. Avrik. Yep. yep. Uh, so, go ahead and roll. They're rolling a, a yellow blue. Yellow blue. Against yep. your gray. gray. All right. Here we go. Four spaces away. Needs the shield. Oh, I forgot about the shield of the dark god. Yeah. Oh. Oh. yeah. That's okay. You didn't want to use it anyways. Right? I'm gonna use it right okay. now. All right. Do you have to exhaust it to use it? Yes. Okay. Otherwise, I could just. Uh... So you were blocking one before, and I'm still, still blocking, blocking one. one. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so first wants to mend, and then plus damage. So it'll be doing two damage to you. Okay. That's fine. Not dead yet. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly a flesh wound. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So the other one is gonna spot the closest hero. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Oh, he's the closest uh, in hero. In this space, he cannot see, ah. so... All right, so he's spot the closest hero. Oh, no, sorry. Each flesh molder recovers one damage is an action. Uh, none yeah. of them are t have damage, so they wouldn't use that. So okay. then they so would then, spot yeah, again. Spot. Okay. Uh, so you can move to here. Okay. It's minions activated. Uh, master, spot the monster with the most damage suffered. There aren't any, so ignore that. Use heal on a monster. Nope. Attack the closest hero. Uh, nope. If within two spaces of a hero, perform it. Nope. So it just does nothing. Nope. It's gonna chill there. Yep. Cool. It's gonna hold He's off. Just hanging out. All right. Your guys' turn. What What are we gonna do? Okay. Well, first, I think Trenlo needs to step up to be not the so that so that I am the closest yes. hero for future things. Sure. So that kind of means I want to stay next to Belthier if I decide to like I want to move. Mm -hmm. So I think this is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to um, let's. Yeah, it's not the best, but I want to make sure I can get some attacks off. So I'm going to fatigue out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to move here. Mm -hmm. uh, this way I am still adjacent to Belthir if he decides to attack. Mm -hmm. And then I think my best bet is to still try to get... The, the molders just do so much damage as a group, right? So mm -hmm. I want to try to see if I can get rid of one of them. Yeah. Uh, so we'll attack this one here. Yeah. Uh, so I'll get my this, this. They are rolling a gray. Mm -hmm. That's a plus one. Yeah, chewed it in the face. Oh, oh no! That is not the... Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. Much better this time. It'll be better. Yes! Oh, yeah, that's really five really damage, uh, which is enough. Dead. Boom. Boom. And make sure to gain a... Thank you. Yes, you are welcome. All right, end turn. All right, Belthier attack affects each hero within two spaces. No. <laughs> okay. All right, engage the farthest hero within three spaces of this monster. That's already engaged. Yep. yep. Attack a hero, then retreat. All right. So it's going to hit all of us. It's going to hit all of us. Yep. All right. So we each roll our own defense dice individually? Correct. Right. So right. we'll roll Belthier's attack, which... Um, 
is going to be a red and a blue. Okay. So I'll go ahead and roll Belther's attack. He's going to miss, us. though. So we it's going to be a miss. It'll be great. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, boy. I think when we want misses, we should have Derek roll, and yeah. that'll be perfect. All right, so the surge <laughs> is for a poison. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> this is fine. Ah, oh, nothing. Hooray. One. Oh, One. Dead again. Okay. Dead again. <laughs> the good news is you're not poisoned. <laughs> that is true. All right, so I'm just taking four damage. I'm also defeated. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, uh, brunk, so brunk, brunk, brunk. then... Did you re-roll? Oh, no, I am going to be poisoned. Yeah. Yeah. And I am going Chunk. to take Chunk. three. <laughs> oh, man, he's messing us up. Yeah. That's what Belthir does, and then he retreats. Then he retreats. Uh, so he moves at a four, one, uh, one, two, three, four. That's gonna get him. Yep. All right. Master's activated. Uh, and then it. Oh wait, we have to mark that. Uh, KO. Yep. And I am KO'd. Yep. All right. If all right. we get one more KO, then we're done. Yep. Because yep. we've used up all of our all of our Ooh. lives. Okay. All right, so your entire turn would be to stand up at the yeah. at the um, uh, before the round ends, though, right? Like you you still had to go. You didn't take your turn yet, right? Uh, or had you? Or, I, I took my turn first. Abbott I have, I have yeah, not gone. Abbott 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 so not taking his turn. Yeah, yeah. So, so I will stand myself up. All right. Yes. So you are going to roll your two red. Yep. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here it is. Here's the goods. Ooh, here we go. All right, four. All right. Yep, good right. good numbers, good numbers. Fine number, yep. Okay, and that's your whole turn. Rolled four last time, too. Ooh, minor peril, pit trap. Uh-oh. <laughs> Abrick oh, cool. Albright steps on no. a stone, <laughs> and it splits in half, revealing a deep hole. With a soft rumble, more pockets of earth open up all around, dotting your path with a field of treacherous pits. Each hero within three spaces of Abrick Albright must choose, suffer three fatigue, or test a... Uh, uh, whatever it is, uh, awareness. Sorry. Awareness. Oh no! If you fail <laughs> the test, you suffer one damage and you're immobilized. My goodness. Oh, and immobilized. Oh, good timing. So it's either peril. just straight take. That would just be Three. damage for me. Right. So I'm better off testing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm okay. also going to test, even though. Okay. Uh, so Because if I fail, it's just the one damage and immobilized. Yep. I can't correct. actually. If I could get somewhere. I would try to run for it, but I can't actually run and interact, so sure. I will test for awareness. Nope. Uh, All right, I'm also so one, one damage, damage. and immobilized. I'm also testing awareness. For two. Oh, uh, that's okay. okay. I love uh, condition cards. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> immobilized. You know? So good at these. Okay. All right, here we are. New round. All right. Um. Well. Oh, and this should. We just need to get to those wards. That's all we have That's to all do. We have That's to all do. we have to That's do. That's all we have to do. <laughs> we don't need That's to it. anyone. I'm, I'm, yeah. We're only immobilized, so we can't okay. move. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I mean, if one of you and wants to help me stand up. Yeah, I'm next to you. I could do that. Cool. Yeah, you want to do that? And that's just, is that just, that's just one action for me, right? Yep. Correct. Yep. yep. Uh, I'll go if that's OK. With yeah. Movements. Yep. That sounds good. All right. All right. Oh, go ahead. And... Wait, I roll these. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'm the, I'm the cleric healer guy. You're gonna get back six health. No, oh, close. Very close. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. Five is good. Five is a good percentage on yeah. me. And then uh, since I'm immobilized, the other thing I want to do is just rest. rest. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. And okay. I will then get rid of immobilize. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the condition right. card. End of your turn. Get an essence. Nice. All right, okay. Uh, that is the end of your turn. Flesh molders. Uh, Each attack gets plus one fine. surge. <laughs> All right, so the minion. I'm in front, though. Okay. I'm in front. He's going to spot the closest hero. Yep. Already done. Attack the closest hero, then retreat. All right, so uh, uh, I am, they're going to roll this. This Trunlo is strong. He has his extra block hey, uh, and misses. Hey, See, right. No problem. This is fine. So then it retreats. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. Uh, the master, spot the closest hero. Uh, one, two, three, four. It actually can uh, cannot see me. Okay, so then a spot the closest here. Uh, one, this gets it, is all it needed. Okay. Flash molders activated. Okay. Let's uh, see. You probably still want, I can't move, mm -hmm. so it's probably best if I go first to at least stay here. Like, I don't want you running ahead, right, and getting getting hit from whatever Belfair does. 
Although But the... if, if uh, I go first, then I can heal some fatigue. Oh, that's true. As well. That's true. Um, I guess you can't move. You're not going anywhere. I literally can't go anywhere. Okay, all right. I mean, unless you're planning on resting, I guess. Were you going to rest? Uh, I probably was going to shoot twice, to be honest. Yeah, no, that, that sounds fine. All right, let's okay. do that. Uh, okay, so first, I am going to test my might for poison. Mm -hmm. Test your might. Bite. Four? Uh, that's my might, so no oh, poison. Right. Nice. That's gone. Boom. See, Avrik, that's how you get rid of yeah. poison. <laughs> you saw me do it. Right, it's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you set a great example. Uh, so then um, I am also going to... Oh, no, I can't use my chosen target. Uh, let's go ahead and target the... I don't think there's any... How much health does Belthier have? Eleven. Oof. And he's rolling a gray and a brown. Mm, probably not a good chance of me actually killing him. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and attack the, the uh, master flesh molder. Yeah, that guy's only got five health. Only five health. Yeah. So this, this, and a gray. Uh-huh. Here it is. And... Oh, All right. there it is. Oh, uh, so Cute. one, two, three, four. I have the extra with my ability. Yeah. And because... Uh, oh, no, I'll do it. I'll do it here. Yeah. Because you're, yeah. you're, still, you're still giving yep. that to yep. me, yep. so I'll recover that so you can still get all your fatigue yep. back. And he's dead. And he dies, which means a an essence. Yes. 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 Uh, and then I guess I will attack Belthier because I'm not going to get, get a range the, get of... Get the brown in there, too. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right. All right. Whoa. Okay. Wow. So six damage to Belthier, and maybe I should have attacked him. I would have killed him if or it was he has, the same. Or he has one block, block right? Uh, yes, and I've got. Oh, so it's five damage to Belthier. Thank yes. you. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Seems okay. And then I'm done being immobilized. End turn. All right. Apply plus two to Belthier's speed. All right. Perform a move action and move through as many spaces oh, no. containing heroes as possible. <laughs> so. Boop, 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 boop. Right. Flew over us. Yep. Perform an attack that targets each hero in a space that Belthier had moved through oh, this activation. No. <laughs> all right, so he's going to hit all of us. He's going to hit all of us again. That's fine. Okay. Um, That's fine. All right. So uh, he's rolling his red blue. Yeah, this is, this is, this is fine. Here, wait, Derek. He's, okay, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I, I do this <laughs> real bad. Okay. <laughs> Lucky miss. Uh, uh, sorry, guys. All right. all right, it's four though. It's not. That's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean. So we each roll. I mean, it might be. It, it might be. The end well. for yeah. Me. Now we all roll our defense. Oh, look at that. Nice. Great. Uh, uh, shield I'm, of the Dark yep, God. Yep. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I take a damage. I'm still down again. You're still down. Oh, oh. no. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Oh. Belthier is uh, no defeated. joke. Defeated. <laughs> we I'm got sorry, some pain. guys. We got some gold. We got some XP. Oh, man. No, that's okay. Let's see All what happens good. to us. Well. All right. As you retreat from the overwhelming dread forces, you find yourself surprised by the number of followers at their disposal. Mostly surprised by this friggin' dragon man. Yeah. <laughs> flying around, <laughs> killing us. On your march back to Fort Roderick, Evelyn shakes her head. Where did this dread come from? How are they so large, so powerful, so organized? And I've never heard of them before. As she directs the collection and burial of the dead from your patrol, Evelyn grips the hilt of her sword and stares into the distance. This isn't over, she says. As you descend from the Ashen Hills, Kristoff scribbles furiously in his journal whenever you stop to rest. You must consult the library at the fort, he muses, and I'll write to the rest of my order. What is the significance of these obelisks, of the ley lines? What did the dread want? He shakes his head and returns to studying his journal. When you reach Fort Roderick, Knight Captain Karin Var comes to the courtyard to hear Evelyn's report immediately. Her scowl deepens with each sentence, and when Evelyn is finished, Dame Karin throws her grain braid back over her shoulder in irritation. You, she says, pointing in your direction. Evelyn says you're resourceful and competent. Good. You're relieved of regular duty. I want you to pursue this dread cult and learn whatever you can about them. You'll report to Dame Evelyn and Brother Kristoff and keep them apprised of what you learn. The captain turns and stomps back toward the keep. Now I have to write some letters to the families of those soldiers and see about requesting new recruits. Wah, wah. Well, <laughs> yeah, kind of a bummer ending. No, that's but okay. That's I feel okay. like we had a good time. I feel like I got to yeah. show off some of the cool stuff the elementalists can do yeah. early on. Uh, yeah. And then and then I died later on. Yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, before we uh, conclude, I guess let's show people some more of the elementalist and. 
uh, whatever your class is called. Oh man, it's called the Soul Reaper. <laughs> Soul Reaper. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm no, sorry. No, it's okay. I was thinking um, Spirit Walker, and that's yeah, not correct. That's not correct. <laughs> um, yeah, there was a solid chunk there where I feel like I was doing my thing. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And healing. It was a lot of fun. Uh, however, with some experience, you yeah. can get even more out of your essence. Yeah. What can you be doing with your essence? So for a simple one XP, you can get Spirit Link here, mm -hmm. and not only does that let you start the encounter with four damage tokens already on Essence Harvest, mm -hmm. which is like a full heal right off the bat. Right. Uh, but I believe when another hero, I could have used this, uh, when another hero would be defeated, um, okay. you can use this card. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember exactly what it is. Yeah, so when another hero within three spaces of me would be knocked out, discard any amount of Essence, that hero recovers equal, uh, recovers an equal amount of hearts instead. Yeah. So you can save someone from being knocked out with your essence and they recover that amount of damage instead. Okay, that seems pretty good. Yeah, I feel like that would have been real good. Mm -hmm. um, what else do we have in here? Jimmy, what, what, what's the good one here, Jim? Yeah, oh, show, so, us, show us the shiny yeah, one. Let me, you want to see the shiny? You yeah, want to see the yeah, shiny? Let's okay, see, let's, all right. I'll show yeah. everyone the shiny. All right, so uh, there's a combo in here that I actually really like. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have, um, this one I think could have been no, no, no. We'll show you a different one. We'll show you. A <laughs> no, it's teasing, right? Yeah. Um, so the um, uh, I think the big one that I like is this one, which is our Font of Vitality. Mm. Uh, so each time you use Stream of Life uh, or Spirit Link, each hero who recovers health is going to recover an additional health. Uh, and then when another hero within three spaces of you performs an action, place uh, uh, two damage tokens on Essence Harvest. I'm sorry, a rest action. So basically what this is doing is two things, right? It basically makes all of your healing more efficient. You're getting one extra uh, back for every, you know, you're getting an additional one beyond the harvest or the essence that you spend. All right. And it's also uh, allowing when other heroes are taking that rest, which we did plenty of, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they're, uh, you're also able to start soak, uh, uh, building up your, your essence supply. Yeah. So I think Font of Vitality is one of my go-tos for the three cost. That's awesome. Nice, mm. nice. And then out of Elementalist, so I don't think people have seen really much of anything out of this. Um, so basically, as we kind of talked about, we can just show these again. This, this class is all based off of these four uh, Elemental cards, right? There's the one for, one for each of the elements. So there's a, a Grasp one that lets you stun an enemy. There's the Tide. I was, those are the two I was using. Tide lets you uh, deal some damage. You can use uh, the blaze or whatever that's called. Yep, the, which the, adds the extra pierce yep. uh, value to it. Uh, and then we'll put this one here, yep. uh, which is the gust, and that's uh, if you move which the allows movement. Yep. Yeah. So then beyond that, let's see, I could have gotten some <laughs> primal harmony, which lets me refresh uh, those elemental cards so that I can use them twice in the same turn, which seems pretty good <laughs> uh here's one that so uh, this is sun and sea when i use tide and or blaze I can exhaust this card to reroll an attack or a power die and that also gives me a third elemental skill so that kind of lets me uh get to the other one that lets me get that is earth and sky which uh similarly that boosts my uh my earth and sky elemental powers and lets me get the fourth one so then i have all four elemental powers kind of at my disposal then once we kind of get up here, I guess maybe you should talk, Jim. Oh, what, no, no. What's, uh, what's, what's your favorite of what the elementalist can do? Sure. Uh, so there is kind of a, um, there's some rhyme and reason to the way that these are built. You'll notice that there's usually this combo of like, this is the earth and, and air combo, or this yeah. is the fire and... Uh, um, uh, water. Water, thank you. Yes. <laughs> uh, but the... Uh, we take that when you, t you know, that's in, that's in the, um, the one level cost. Mm -hmm. As we go into the, the top level, uh, you'll start to see, I'm sorry, you go into the two levels, you start to see how you can take um, Tide and Gust and have a combo here. So Storm's Fury uh, allows you, when you use Tide, you can choose a monster within two spaces uh, instead of an adjacent monster. Mm -hmm. And then when you use Gust, you may choose uh, a non-lieutenant, any non-lieutenant figure instead. Whoa. So it does no longer has that restriction of uh, being a small monster, right? Sure. Um, and then as you get into those three cost uh, abilities, mm -hmm. uh, we start to get into, I, I kind of want to show both of these off because yeah. they, they, again, they're synergized well with the way that you decide to build your character. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, each one of them is going to add to your stamina. Mm -hmm. uh, odds are you're probably, if you're going to be picking up all of your elements, mm -hmm. uh, you're going to probably only be able to delve into one of these to, yeah. uh, to, to uh, uh, just for, in terms of cost over a campaign. Sure. But both of them are going to add to your stamina, um, and then each one has. So Tide is additional monsters, so now you can 
you know, you have that, that spider group and you hit the middle one, now it splashes to both. Oh, nice. Um, and then when you use Grasp, um, the target, uh, it's a non-lieutenant equal to the number of the um, uh, exhausted cards. So this is just allowing you to get bigger and bigger monsters taken care of. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nature's Fury uses the other two. So with Blaze, it's additional yellow power die during mm -hmm. that attack. So now you're doing the extra pierce mm -hmm. and adding a yellow, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to trigger any of your surge abilities that you might have. Uh, and then when you're using Gust, uh, you get to choose yourself. So normally you have to use it to do enemies or other heroes eventually, and then mm -hmm. um, and then at the end you, know, you can now move yourself along if you need to get somewhere. Like in yeah. this case, you could have gusted yeah, potentially. Over there. Yeah, exactly. <coughs> so cool. um, those are the those are the big the end game of the build. Awesome. That's awesome. Good. That's very cool. So this is all part of Lost Legends. That's the POD expansion that's coming to Descent soon. Uh, hopefully in like the next month or so is when it's planned for release um, that you, Jim, created. So uh, that's pretty much all yeah. that we have for and today. And then uh, Embers of Dread available right. now. That's what we were playing. We were playing yes. Embers yes. of Dread available now in the Road to Legend campaign, which is you can download it for free. Yeah. It's uh, Apple Store, App Store, uh, Google Play, Amazon, Steam. All those places you can find it uh i think that's it thank you everybody so much for watching we're thank gonna you. make sure that you subscribe hit the bell icon so you can be notified when we have new content uh we'll be back on next tuesday that's april 30th at 1 p.m we're gonna be showing off some star wars x-wing they're gonna be playing with some wave four stuff on the table so like the naboo n1 starfighter yeah, uh, yeah. the resistance transport i think maybe so some cool stuff on the table answering some questions uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, uh, and we will catch you all next time. Thank you for watching.